Hey guys, Mitch here from Rangeland RV. You might remember me from such films as Hot Deals or Big Mitch P or even the world's most interesting RVer. And I am standing here with my sidekick, Ty the RV guy. And we are standing in front of the all new Sierra 3330BH. Tell them what this floor plan features, Ty. Yeah, guys, this is a beautiful floor plan through Sierra. What you're gonna see, of course, is a front bedroom. It's got a beautiful mid-living area and a massive bunkhouse in the back. And one of the best features that you gain out of this floor plan is two full bathrooms. Now, this is the C-Class version. Yeah, right? so with Sierra's, yeah, with Sierra's new addition to C-Class, now what they've done is they've brought in this to give you a bunch of different features all together at a much more attractive price point. It's a best trailer on the market that you can get into for this particular type of style and value. Absolutely. So we're going to take you through some uh, construction and some specs on this coach here. So the Sierra is built with a aluminum framed, block foam insulated, vacuum bonded wall. Um, they do still carry some of the best insulation values in the industry. What else do they off have to offer, Ty? Yeah, some of the big construction points that we love to talk about with Sierra and what they just introduced this year is the actual full enclosed armor belly, which is, I think it's called a road armor, road armor. armor belly. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So it's a full enclosed armor belly with plastic um, uh, panels underneath there. And the best part about that, it's a lot stronger than just the um, plastic cardboard stuff you may have seen before. Plus it's in sections. So if you ever have to get a technician underneath there to work on anything, you can just simply access wherever spots that you need. Absolutely. So why don't we take them through some exterior features? Yeah, here, follow up to the front here. We'll start talking about some exterior features. So first thing that you'll notice at the very front of the trailer is of course, you have a beautiful fiberglass front cap. This is a full painted fiberglass cap too. They have some really nice blue lighting in here to really clean up the look. And then of course, underneath, you're gonna have your Rhino Box pin. Yeah. This is a beautiful pin system because it actually narrows it out, making it a little bit easier for you to kind of jackknife that trailer around for you too. Mm -hmm. What are some other cool features on this coach? Well, let's take them uh, around back. We'll go over. So the one thing that everybody loves is the one touch auto level. From the touch of one button, it is going to level your trailer for you nice and easy and make sure that you're nice and set at your campsite. Um, the biggest advantage of having a fifth wheel, if you haven't already moved into the fifth wheel category, you get that full pass through storage. I'll let you zoom in there just to take a look. So you can put all of your lawn chairs, all your additional stuff that you do want to carry with you to the campsite. There's tons of storage room. Yeah, another great thing to talk about too when we're on the topic of storage compartments here, like you can see, they have a nice thick insulated door on this trailer. Plus what they've also done is added the metal slam latches to here too. So these are actually deadbolt uh, keys that they've used for these slam latches also. So you're not worried about folks getting into your storage compartments with those little 751 keys you may have seen that everybody that owns a trailer has, right? Yeah. So it's a lot more secure that way too. Another great feature that you'll notice on the outside here while we're standing next to it is Sierra uses a 10 gallon quick recovery hot water tank. Yeah. So this is great because of course, generally what you would see is a standard six gallon. This is obviously giving you an extra four gallons to the trailer. So it's much, much larger. Um, like you can see, there's obviously a switch down here so you can kick it into that electricity mode or of course just burn it off a of propane. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. A couple of other things too that we love to talk about being that this is a true vacuum bonded coach. You're going to see that throughout the entire trailer, even into your slide out walls here. So like Mitch will demonstrate, if you push on that slide out wall for you, it's nice and solid. You're not seeing that popping or flexing. And then even talking about that one touch control, super cool. You got that electric four point auto level and everything there. So yep. you're easily set up in that campsite. Inside the pass through storage, and I don't know if you might've seen it when uh, we zoomed in on it, you do have a battery disconnect. Main advantage of that is you're not going to have to disconnect your positive negative off your battery every time you go to store it. You can literally turn on the battery disconnect. It's going to kill all the power going to the unit. You're not going to drain your batteries the next time you go out to pick it up. Absolutely. Pick it out. Here guys, follow us around the front here and we'll start talking about some other really cool features. So again, first you're going to notice you have this massive big power awning throughout the trailer. And then what Sierra has also done is just underneath that, you can notice there's a camera uh, spot for a pre-wire there. What you can add to these C-classes is that full backup camera. You can have the side view cameras on here and even the over the top of the door camera because this is actually also set up to give you that security system if you have this permanently parked at one of your campsites. Yeah, yeah. they do feature the, um, the more ride solid steps as well. So nice and easy to set up, put down. This year they added a new feature. It used to be, if you're familiar with this product, it used to be a pin that you pop out to adjust. Now it's just with the push, 
of uh, right there you can adjust your legs and you can get it nice and even for your campsite for that uneven ground. Um, working our way here to the back of the trailer you're going to notice right here they do a really nice job cleaning everything up. They light up those marine grade outdoor speakers that's wired to your Bluetooth stereo system which we'll get to once we go into coach. And then this one does feature an outside fridge. It is a uh, step up, it's a bigger fridge. So you definitely have a lot more room to put all of your snacks, your beverages, everything to keep it cold there. Now then, uh, we're gonna work our way again to the back. Yeah, absolutely. And as we start working our way to the back here, one thing to point out is this is your bathroom entrance. So you have a main entrance to the trailer and of course a secondary entrance to the bathroom, which is very popular nowadays. Everyone's looking for something like that, especially in a bunkhouse trailer. So now the kids don't have to come running through the entire trailer just to go use the bathroom. Absolutely. Another thing to note too with this entrance is you have a secondary more ride step coming in here. Yeah. Lots of times you only have that pull out step, which is always a pain in the butt. They always get full of gravel, start yeah. to rust out and they're really hard to use. Let's go over to the back side now. We'll have a couple of look. We'll have a look at a couple options there, or features, I should say. Because what you'll notice underneath the bottom is you have this really nice. Oh, jeez! <laughs> As we come through here, you'll have these. Uh, you'll have a really nice gas connection for your swing around barbecue here, and then of course your spare tire is mounted on the back bumper too, and you'll even have a ladder to get up onto your roof. Yeah, so that you can check your yearly maintenance, check your seals, make sure that everything's good and nothing's been compromised. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, another little detail to point out before we head inside on this trailer is you have all LED lighting around here too, so you're not looking at any of those incandescent bulbs burning out over the years of use, so mm -hmm. it definitely makes things a lot more convenient. Let's take them inside, Mitch. Absolutely. <clears throat> So one thing I want to touch on, and I don't know if you went over it earlier, Ty, for the folks at home, is this trailer is 36 feet from kingpin to bumper, yeah, or just yeah, just shy of over 36 feet from kingpin to bumper, and it comes in at about just over 10,000 pounds dry weight. So, absolutely, um, you know, with that vacuum bonded material and the block foam insulation, it keeps it nice and light. Mm -hmm, absolutely. All right, let's take them in. So first thing you notice guys when you're coming inside the Sierra here, right beside the door you have what is called the LCI One Control. This is a really, really cool system because you can absolutely run everything through your trailer right off of this control panel. Um, so for an example, your auto leveling can be operating here, your slide outs, your lights and everything like that. Another thing to mention while we're looking at the panels here, we did talk briefly about that underbelly. But what you get out of something like this is an Arctic package through Sierra. Yeah. And that gives you 12 volt heat pads on all your tanks. They even duck the air down into the underbelly so it keeps things nice and warm for you too. Yeah. But come on in here. I'll let Mitch tell you a little bit more about this main area of your of your fifth wheel here. So the main area here is nice and open. There's tons of seating. If you guys are the type that like to entertain and you do have a lot of people in here, there's definitely a lot of place to sit. You do have a dinette, a spacious dinette here uh, right by a huge window. All of these windows as you see in the slide. So you're getting four windows inside. That's gonna let in a lot of natural light. It's gonna brighten this thing up beautifully. Yeah, you get a um, beautiful panoramic view in there for sure. Absolutely. You do have a nice couch here with a... Um, yeah, I think that's a trifold tri sofa, sofa, yeah. Right, so you know these guys will come off. Let's demonstrate it. Yeah, why Might not? Well, right? It's a super simple system, guys. All you do is you obviously remove the cushions here, like so, very easy. And Mitch will grab the bottom of the sofa there and show you how it pops out. Now the one thing I was going to touch on, Ty, is that a lot of people over, you know, the uh, over the years have always said that these guys are a pain in the butt to fold out, that they're super uncomfortable, that you can feel the springs in their back when people sleep on them. That is not the case anymore. They've upped it with a huge, um, with a two and a half inch uh, foam on here, so it's nice and soft. They're going to get your guests are going to get a good night's sleep. They're not going to feel like, you know, that they're they're camping on the old cot that's breaking their back no kidding absolutely right. i've even so. seen a lot of people you know they can bring an air mattress with them too, lay that out over top of something like yeah. this so you can just add, add add sorry even more extra cushion to that sleep and just as simple as that she folds right back down it's pretty much effortless 
Yeah, so while Mitch is folding up the couch here, I will, uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about this kitchen. So one of the really nice fit and finish features that you do see throughout the Sierra product line is everything in, when it comes to drawers and cabinets, um, it, they're all soft close. So for an example, if I open up this cabinet here, I can simply slam the door. It's not gonna slam on you either. Same thing when you start looking at drawers inside their trailers, it's the same thing. Nice, yeah, nice yeah, smooth close. drawers. You have full ball bearing extension, drawer glides. You're gonna have solid plywood on the inside here, solid backing. The other major thing too is you're gonna see there is no hinges. It all has hidden hinges. Exactly. Right? Yeah. As you work your way through the kitchen here, you have a beautiful 22 inch glass door oven with the three burner uh, cooktop on there. And then of course, you'll have the nice tempered glass cover here with a good backsplash for you too. You know, you're maximizing that counter space with this tempered glass cover also. And then of course, you look at the countertop in here. This is something where you still have that seamless pressed membrane, so you're not worried about that T-mold separating on you over the years of use. Tell them a little bit more about this kitchen. Absolutely, so Sierra does a great job with bringing the comforts of your home right to the campsite. You're gonna feel nice in that home. Not only is there tons of countertop space, prep space to work and, and uh, make food, they do give you a undermounted stainless steel barn style sink, so you can put a, a, a full pot in there, you can wash it properly. They do give you the drop down faucet as well, so you know they're bringing a lot of luxury right to the campsite so you don't have to worry about it and then just the fine details is not only are they using solid wood cabinetry but they're putting glass inserts you know and a yeah. price point of this I mean this is usually uh, you know you're jumping over 20 grand to get this type of stuff in, absolutely in this type of floor plan and model right in yeah the of a fifth wheel mm -hmm. so the big thing with the with the Sierra C class and why they released it into our industry now is you guys are getting into something now where you're into a luxury category fifth wheel at an affordable price point. That is the biggest thing here with the C-Class style. Like for an example, you still have residential microwave in here like you might have at home. If we look beside us here, you have this massive 20 cubic foot fridge. And this is a gorgeous fridge on the inside here. Of course, it's obviously French doors on either side. Nice and deep there, right to the back. Yeah, boom, sure. Wow. Right like that there. And then of course you got the big pull out freezer on the bottom here too, which has got a couple of drawers in it for you too. So there's tons of space in here. Yeah. And then I'm just going to take you over here if you want to flip over. Um, this is your entertainment section, right? So they do give you a sound system with a built-in DVD player. Um, I know like my kids, they love, they still love watching the DVDs when we're out camping, right? So you can put the DVD in there. It's gonna play through the speakers as well, through the speakers uh, inside the coach. And then they do give you this beautiful fireplace. It's not just for ambiance. On those cold spring days, this baby can heat up 400 cubic square feet in under 15 minutes. It runs off electricity, but it, you know, on a spring day, you can almost heat the whole entire trailer just on the electricity you're not burning through a, a whole bunch of propane they give you an additional um you know uh storage so that if you, can, you want to put a dvds up here all yeah. the additional stuff right and then they give you a large uh area for a big tv so that if you guys do want to watch a movie you can definitely uh sit back enjoy it you can see the tv absolutely yeah. so that pretty much wraps up the main area here guys follow me back into this beautiful bunk room yes this is the thing I love. If you have kids, this is the perfect floor plan for you as well. Absolutely. So first thing you'll notice, which is really cool in here, is there's a big ladder behind me and Mitch. There's mm -hmm. actually a loft inside this bunk room. Mm -hmm. So the kids can climb up in there. It's kind of cool. It's like a little tree house in your, in your trailer for you. You'll also have a couch here, which easily breaks down into a bed for you. And then up above there, you also have a flip down bunk. And it's nice how they put a couch in here because- show them, Ty. Yeah, it's yeah, a very really simple nice. system. You just grab the latch here. It pops down into place. There's even a window in behind there for you too. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you also have the teddy bear mattress. So of course it's nice and warm and comfortable yeah. for the kids. And then right across from that, you'll have a nice TV stand here. So again, you can plant another TV in here, more storage up above. Tons of storage. There's actually a right. beautiful hanging closet up there. A lot of my clients, you know, they tell me, Mitch, you know, our bunk room, it's, it's definitely spacious, but where do we put our kids stuff? You know, my kids are coming in, throwing their knapsacks everywhere. Everything is, yeah. you know, it's a mess back here. They do give you quite a bit of drawer space for your kids to put their clothes in, right? And these are actually pretty deep. They're about a half an arm's length, so there's lots of room in there. Absolutely. The other thing I wanted to hone on in really quickly too is not only this uh, does this jackknife sofa fold down, right down here they do give you the option with two plugins plus two USB ports. You know, I feel like my kids, my kids like to, you know, for quiet time, they like to 
quiet down on an iPad. They can plug it in. It's not going to lose its charge. They can charge it right there while they're laying down on the couch. Absolutely. So, and then I'll let you guys take a look up there at that loft. It's it's a quite a spacious loft. Um, you know, even an adult could sleep up there comfortably. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, for, for sure. Wise. So. And then of course, right hooked on to the uh, the bunk room here. As you can see, Mitch is walking in there. I'll let you guys follow him in. You have a nice secondary bathroom, and that's the big thing that we talked about with this floor plan is you have a dual full bathroom setup. So there is a sink, toilet, and shower in here. When you're getting into this type of category as well, um, it's not very often that you actually see two full baths. Yeah. A lot of the time, you're only getting a half bath back here. Mm -hmm. So if your kids are at that age where they want their own privacy, they want to take a shower, you know, you can they can have their own shower back mm -hmm. here. They're not interrupting and you're not having to share. And it's got a tub too. Bathrooms. Yeah. Right, if you have young kids as well and you want to bathe them before bedtime, there you go. Yeah. You know, they can go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. They're not going to trip and have to stumble through the rest of the trailer. So, I'm, and then I'm going to flip you guys around behind me. If you look here too, I mean, they don't they don't cheap out where it counts. You're getting the full porcelain toilets as well. Um, you know, yeah, the so fit and finish is there for sure. Absolutely. absolutely. Cool. Here, yep. so follow us up front now, guys. We'll uh, we'll have a look at the uh, the main master bathroom there, and then of course your master bedroom too. Yeah. <clears throat> So here, come on in, we'll have a look at the bedroom first and then we'll jump into the bathroom. So first thing you're noticing walking into this bedroom, again, lots of overhead cabinets. I love how they've actually sunk this mattress into the back here, giving yep. you some reading lights. And then of course they didn't take away from the actual uh, nightstands on either side, which sometimes you do see. Absolutely, the, the cabinets usually, and a lot of comparables in the market are going right down here. Exactly, you, right. Know, if you're an old, you know, if you sleep with a CPAP machine or something like that, you have nowhere to put it. I mean, if you have a phone or something like that, which everybody does. You got a yeah. place to charge it now too because they Absolutely. give you two USBs on either side and yeah. plug-ins. And then of course, underneath this bed too, you're not missing out on any storage. This guy's gonna pop up. It's assisted with the gas struts for you there too. Yeah. So it's nice and easy. <clears throat> and then of course, you got a really nice foam mattress in here too. Yeah. I think this is actually a Tempur-Pedic foam. It is. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. So Mitch, tell them a little bit about this little slide out here too. So, you know, a lot of people are all, always have told me too, like, you know, we have to pick and choose which clothes we're going to bring. You know, when they add these wardrobe slides, they definitely give you um, a lot more space to bring a lot more clothes. So yeah. you don't have to worry about leaving your favorite warm jacket for the sacrifice of maybe bringing a couple extra tank tops, right? You no can, kidding. You can bring everything uh, with you. And then they do give you four spacious drawers as well. <clears throat> yeah, I love how they do the drawers in there. Lots of times you just have that hanging wardrobe. Yeah. So it's nice to have that place where maybe you want to roll up some shirts right. or some socks or whatever it may be. And these drawers are also made with uh, solid plywood. It's not chipboard. So there's no, they're, they're not cheap and out. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, let's bring you into the bathroom here if you want to come through here, Ty. So the other thing too, you can see, I mean, I'm six foot eight and I have no problem. I'm, just <laughs> I'm six feet and you know, I'm, I have wider shoulders and I have no problem moving around in here. Um, a lot of people say, you know, my shower just becomes a broom closet or it becomes storage. Exactly. You know, you're going to actually be able to use this for a shower purpose. Now, Ty, do not move. What is that above your head? I think that's a fantastic fan, Mitch. Oh, uh, it's, 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 it's pretty close, it's pretty actually. pretty close. Yeah. Lucky. I don't think that one's going to quite suck you through the ceiling. No. But it is going to do the job. Yeah, it's, uh, guys, what you have here, again, is that nice high-powered fan. So something like this, of course, you can simply kick on. You're going to be able to vent all that moisture out of here when you're showering. Or, of course, if you're using the washroom, you got a way to vent that smell out, too. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, Look at the size of that mirror. Yeah, you know, How often do you see that? Yeah, huge mirror inside of here too. Again, you're going to have that seamless press top here. Nice deep sink so you can actually get your hands in here. A lot of them are really shallow and hard to use. And then of course, porcelain toilet again in here. So mm -hmm. you're not losing out on that finish, uh, fit and finish that you get out of the Sierra C class. And yeah. keep in mind, guys, you got to remember the price point on this particular fifth wheel is second to none. Mm -hmm. So all of the options and features and quality of construction you get out of here, it's amazing value. I, I know a ton of comparables that don't even offer half the fit and finish or the, the additional add-ons in this, in this Absol price category. Absolutely. So for the price point and for in this category, it is amazing. You're getting so much bang for your buck. Oh, for sure. Follow us out into the main area here guys and we'll finish up <clears throat> so 
So that pretty much wraps up this Sierra fifth wheel today. You know, we're so glad to bring you guys the new C-Class. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do have any questions or anything like that, make sure you reach out to us. I'm Ty, the RV guy. Of course, this is Big Mitch P. We're both at Rangeland RV. And check out our website at rangelandrv.com. We carry the extensive lineup of the Sierra uh, product. Um, yes. Other than that, yeah. thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Happy camping. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Ty the RV guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Sierra 3440BH. This is the C-Class edition too from Sierra. So this is a brand new floor plan out of the Sierra collection. Now first things I want to talk about with you guys here is the overall length and the weight of the trailer. So when you're looking at the pin to bumper length on this, you're just shy of 39 feet from pin to bumper and you're roughly around that 11,000 pounds dry. So with something like this, you're probably going to want to have at least that uh, three quarter ton truck or one ton diesel there um, to get it out to your campsite for you. Now let's talk a bit about the construction behind the Sierra C-Class. Something that you're going to see is of course that still that aluminum superstructure that Sierra uses and what they've done is they've actually widened their uh, their aluminum studs to double the the width of what you would see standard with a aluminum structure trailer and of course this is fully block foam insulated and vacuum bonded so you're nice and solid all the way around this entire fifth wheel. Now while we're talking about that insulation too what you're going to see out of a Sierra is an R38 value inside your roof and an R38 value also in the floor too. So they even enclose this underbelly for you with a road armor enclosure. So what that is, it's got plastic panels that are actually sectional. So if you do have to have any kind of maintenance performed underneath this fifth wheel, you can actually pull it off in sections instead of cutting a hole through your underbelly. It's also a lot tougher too, so it helps it keep it nice and strong over the years of use. Now, let's jump into some really cool exterior features. So starting on the front of the fifth wheel here, of course, with the Sierra, you have that full fiberglass cap. One of the big important features of having this, or I should say one of the big advantages you have with something like this, is it completely wraps all four corners of your fifth wheel, so it's keeping it completely sealed from water ever coming in, inside of that most susceptible seal of your, of your fifth wheel. So again, as we work our way back here, you're gonna have this nice big power awning here with the LED light strip. It's an adjustable awning too, so if you do have that heavy rainfall or something, you can tilt that awning so it can easily drain. And then just underneath that, you're gonna notice here, there's actually a little camera bracket with this outside light. So a nice little touch that Sierra does for you is they put side view cameras on this trailer. They even put a rear view camera and a door camera on this. So maybe like you have at home where you have a doorbell camera, you can actually set this trailer up with the same style of system. Or of course, if you wanna have that easier uh, view while you're going down the highway, you're set to do both. Now. As we look at the front here too, just underneath that big awning, you're gonna have your dual 30 pound propane tanks here with the auto switch over for you. And then of course, access into your pass-through storage compartment. One thing I love to point out too with this pass-through storage compartment is you'll see inside here you have some lighting. You even have a battery disconnect switch which comes in handy when you're done using your fifth wheel. So a nice simple thing you can do is turn that switch off instead of pulling those batteries out so you're not draining them over the, over the time that you're not using your fifth wheel. A nice little touch too, even in this C-Class here, is you're gonna notice, of course, it has the metal slam latches on your mains baggage doors here. So they're deadbolt keyed. So essentially, those uh, folks that have a trailer that have the little 751 key, the little silver key, they can't get in to access all of your storage uh, components and things like that in there. Now, as we work our way behind me here, you're gonna see, of course, you have this nice big entry door with the friction hinge here too. And hidden behind that, is your outside backlit speakers. Of course, these are Bluetooth capable too, so you can pair your cell phone up to this and play your own music, or of course it's AM, FM, you name it. Um, in between that, you're also gonna have your outside spray port here for you also. So it works great if you have any of those like big cast iron frying pans that you use out of the campsite. Nice, easy way to spray everything down, or of course, if you wanna spray down the pets or things like that, it's a great tool to have on your fifth wheel. Now, as we work our way back, you'll see here, you have the Moride entry steps. 
These are a great uh, system to have on your fifth wheel because essentially they're gas strut assisted so they flip right up inside your trailer for you so over the years of use they're not getting rusted out full of gravel and hard to use and they're adjustable on either side so you can always get that nice stable entry inside of your fifth wheel. Now follow me back this way as we work around this slide out here you're going to see you actually have a second entrance into this, this trailer. One of the really cool features too is this trailer has two bathrooms. So this second entrance is actually an entrance into one of your bathrooms. So it's a great floor plan, of, of course, if you have kids because they don't have to run through the entire fifth wheel to go and use the bathroom. They can simply just jump inside right here. And again, you're also going to have those nice, easy entry more ride steps. Now, as we work our way towards the back, there's a lot of cool features on this particular fifth wheel. For example, you have an outside fridge here, and it's actually the oversized outside fridge, so it's nice and tall. You have plenty of space for all your drinks and snacks and whatnot. And then to top it all off, to give you that kind of outside kitchen feel, they give you a full swing around barbecue here with a gas propane connect right here that runs right off your 30 pound tanks. So essentially you don't have to be bringing around that extra propane tank or those little green bottles that you know always go rolling around in your storage compartments. Let's have a look at the back of the fifth wheel now. So once you work your way back here, you're going to notice, of course, you have a ladder to get up onto your roof so you can always check out the seals and everything, making sure your maintenance is up to date. And then, of course, like I mentioned before, you have the uh, backup camera there and a bumper here where your spare tire is going to be mounted. Um, you'll also notice that all the lighting on the exterior is LED. So big advantage of that is you're not worrying about those incandescent bulbs burning out over the years of use. Over on the back side of the coach now, you'll have your power connection here. And this is again, that nice detachable power cord. So you're not worried about stuffing that big cord inside your fifth wheel. Plus if it ever gets wrecked, it's very easy to replace. Another storage compartment here for you. And another touch that they put on the storage doors, they even give you the magnetic latches, which are nice and handy. So you're not breaking those plastic ones off in the cold and a big storage compartment there underneath the big bunk bed. Now, one of the things I love to talk about too with the Sierra, uh, the Sierra C-Class is this is actually a trim level that you can get into for Sierra, which of course is gonna give you a much more attractive price point, but you're not missing out on those big features. For example, you have full electric leveling on this coach, so you have four big pistons that are gonna come down, level your fifth wheel for you with a simple push of a button. You still have the really nice big rack and pinion slide outs here, you know, solid construction through your slide outs too. And then as we work our way around to the front, Front here, you will notice that they still give you that oversized hot water tank. So this is a 10 cubic foot, um, or sorry, a 10 gallon quick recovery gas and electric hot water tank here. So of course, being that it is gas and electric, you can run this on two different methods. The switch down is just easily accessible right here to switch it over into electric mode. And if you ever have any issue, the easy reset buttons are right there for you too, with the, uh, the sacrificial anode rod there also. <clears throat> furnace duct is going to be located on the back side of your trailer which is a nice feature to have so you're not pumping all of that exhaust fumes inside your campsite and then of course this is going to be the other entrance into your pass-through storage compartment there now before we run inside i do want to touch on your outside docking station here because you do have a really nice setup here so for example, like you can see, your gate valves are all located inside here. They even give you a nice light so you can see what you're doing if you're working in the dark. And then you have your uh, full, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll even have a full water purification system built into your fifth wheel also, along with a black tank flush. And then of course, you're gonna have your full winterizing set up here and even another outside hot and cold sprayer. So you're set up to do everything that you need to do with your fifth wheel. Now let's work our way around to the front side of the fifth wheel and we'll go inside and talk about some cool features. Of course, as we're coming through here, your batteries are gonna be located inside this compartment. Your switches for your full auto leveling is located here as well. And there's gonna be a lot of additional storage in there too. So I'll let you guys jump inside the fifth wheel there and I'll follow you in. So first thing that you'll notice coming inside here, you have a tremendous living space. The, one of the things that I love to mention too when we're starting off in the kitchen here is they give you that little bit of counter space beside your cooktop. So of course, when you're cooking here, you can have a place to set some things down and that kind of thing. Now, as we look at this oven, this is that nice tempered glass three burner cooktop here that you've seen in maybe some of our other models. 
And it's nice they recess it down in there with the tempered glass cover so you're maximizing all your amount of prep space in here. And again, this is a 22 inch glass door oven. So this is one of the largest you can get in the RV sizing and it's beautiful. They give you the nice blue lighting here, the nice glass front. So it really cleans the look up of your trailer. Now, just above that, you're gonna have the LG residential microwave. And I can't stress enough guys, you gotta keep in mind, this is also the C-Class version. So you're not losing out on any of these really nice touches that you get in this fifth wheel line. Um, when we look over to my right side here, we actually have a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. This is a really cool feature to have because of course it cools down a lot faster than your traditional fridges. And of course it gives you a lot more space in here too. Now, while we're looking at the countertop in the trailer, I did want to mention too, this is that nice seamless press membrane. So it's not that team old stuff that starts to come apart over the years that you will see in a lot of cheaper models and that type of thing. Um, and then of course, you'll also have a full tub stainless sink with a nice sink cover. So you're utilizing that prep space again. They even give you the little sprayer faucet on here with your stainless sink. So it's nice and easy to keep clean. Now, one of the things I want to talk about too with the cabinets inside a uh, Sierra kitchen is, for example, you'll see all of the cabinet doors here are all hidden hinge, solid wood construction, but they even give you the nice soft touch on all of your cabinet doors there too. And then same thing with your drawers. So the drawers, solid wood fronts, you'll have solid plywood on the inside, full ball bearing extension drawer glides, but it's a nice, simple, smooth system, right? So those little touches do make a big difference. As we work over our way over here, you'll see you have this massive entertainment unit. This is a beautiful entertainment unit because you do have still a lot of storage all the way around it. You have a place for a large TV here with the beautiful sound bar underneath there, which is again a DVD player, CD player. This is going to control all of your inside outside speakers through AM, FM and Bluetooth. And then of course to top it off, they give you the nice fireplace here too, which is a 5100 BTU dry heater. So this works great. It'll actually heat up to 400 square feet of, uh, of your trailer within 15 minutes. It's another addition that just helps you keep this trailer warm along with your furnace. Now across from your entertainment unit, you're going to have your sitting area for your dinette and of course your couch. One of the things to note here too is it uh, your entertainment unit faces directly toward your sitting area. So it's a nice thing that you're not turning your neck all the time just to look at the TV. This will actually pull out into an additional bed for you along with your dinette. This will collapse down into an additional bed. So you have plenty of sleeping space and wait till you check out this bunk room. You'll see the amount of sleeping space in this coach. I love how they put these blue lights underneath there too. So again, it really cleans that look up, giving you a more modern touch to your fifth wheel. And then even little details like your valences here are very nice. And then underneath that, you'll have full pull down roller shades instead of the pleated night shades that you may have seen. These work great, of course, because they help keep the heat out of your trailer. Or again, if you're in here at nighttime, it keeps it nice and private. Now, to finish off in the main area here, I want to turn you around and show you the, uh, the, the pantry space here. And then another little, uh, little countertop space. This would work great if you have like a Keurig or a coffee maker, toaster, you name it. You have that place to kind of set it up where it's got its own designated area. Looks like we got a ball that's about to go out in here, but um, this, this is a really nice spot to use that. And then of course, just up above here, you're going to have some more space, lots of drawers underneath, and then even a little pantry for you too, which is awesome. So it's a great living space here. Just above your head, you actually have a ceiling fan in here too. So again, just helps keep that air circulating throughout your fifth wheel. Let's move into the back now and we'll have a look at this awesome bunk room. So probably one of the coolest bunk rooms I've seen yet for uh, some of these fifth wheels. What you're gonna see here is actually a full size bed on the bottom here, plenty of storage along the side of it too. And then I should mention too, this is a full hanging wardrobe. So that bar, you can either take it out and use it for some other things, or of course, it's a full hanging wardrobe. You got lots of drawer space underneath here too. <clears throat> and then a little nightstand beside the bed there too with some plugins. Just up above that, you're gonna have a beautiful loft bunk. Couple of windows up there for you as well, along with air conditioning ducts. So of course you're keeping it nice and climate controlled inside your bunk room. Plenty of lighting, plenty of storage up there as well. And a very easy pull out ladder, which I'll show you here. So it conveniently stows away right around the side. But of course you can easily fold it out like so. 
So it's a nice touch, of course, then you don't have this ladder sticking out in the way all the time. You can easily move it. Now I'll let you jump into your half bathroom here, connected right to your bunk room. So this is great, especially if you have guests, right? Someone can get up in the morning, um, you know, go brush their teeth, get ready for the day. Or if someone gets up in the middle of the night, they have a bathroom that they can use. They don't have to come all the way up to the master uh, suite there, or the master bedroom, I should say. And again, little touches that you'll notice. There's a medicine cabinet in there. They have a fantastic fan up in the roof, so it's easy for venting out all those smells. And then of course, as we work our way through, We'll go back up to the front of this fifth wheel and talk about some more cool features. <clears throat> so as we're passing by the stairs here, you'll notice you have your control panel on the wall here. This is going to be where you can control all of your lighting. You'll be able to see what your tank levels are at for you there too. And then of course all of your slide outs. And just beside that your ceiling fan will be able to be turned on there too. So let's look at the bedroom first. So coming inside this bedroom, of course, you're going to have this nice big walk around queen size bed and a nice touch that they do is on either side of the bed, they give you nightstands, plugins and USB chargers. So of course you have a place to plug your phone in at night or if you have a CPAP, you have a place to put it and a place to plug it in for you too. Um, just up above, you're going to have some extra cabinet space. And it's a nice touch with this one too. Lots of times what you see on a north, uh, north south bed like this is there's usually cabinets that come all the way down here for hanging wardrobes. But this particular floor plan actually gives you a full wardrobe slide out that's just behind you there. So it'll actually switch ends with you here and you can see a little bit more of the storage in this bedroom. While you're coming by here, there's a TV mount along the wall just beside us here. But now that you're looking at this big slide out, you can see of course, Tons of cabinetry or uh, uh, wardrobe space, I should say, in here. Again, removable bar if you don't want to use it. And then underneath, you're going to have an extra drawer here. So nice and deep on either side, too. Plenty of drawers that stretch all the way up to the top of the slide. And then underneath this bed, you're going to have some storage as well. So there's plenty of storage inside your bedroom here for you. Follow me into this bathroom now. So one of the things that you will notice out of the uh, Sierra bathrooms here is the showers are really nice glass sliding door shower here They actually give you a nice residential shower head in here, too So this is adjustable for height. So if you're a taller guy like me, you can easily fit in here and still comfortably shower um, And they give it a nice little touch. It's not just that plain white It almost gives you that marble look to it as well with some shelves in there now your sink here nice and deep You can easily get your hands in there and wash your hands um, and then of course again that seamless countertop here you're gonna have your fan control for just up above our, our toilet here. You have that nice high powered fan. And then again, a foot flush toilet. One of the things I did miss in the back bathroom there that you will notice in both is they actually use a porcelain toilet. So it's a lot better than that plastic that you see that starts to you know, break early on or it's actually harder to keep clean and that kind of thing. So it's a nice little touch that you get out of the CRC classes. Follow me back into the main area here and we'll, uh, we'll finish up. So a couple of things that I did miss, of course, you have full ducted air conditioning on this particular unit. Of course, you're gonna have full in-floor ducted heat as well, so your climate control is gonna be perfect throughout the coach, and it's all in digital thermostats. Um, but guys, to really give you the perspective of what you're looking at here, um, the Sierra C-Class comes into play to give you that luxury style fifth wheel for an affordable price point. And that's why we're having great success with this brand. There's a lot of our customers that have come out and seen a couple models and they're absolutely loving them. So don't be shy to come down to Rangeland. Have a look at one of them yourself. Give us a call here too. We'd be happy to share with you what our RV show pricing is on right now for a model like this. And thanks again for watching. I'm Ty the RV Guy and happy camping.
CRV guy here, and behind me is the all new 2021 Heritage Glen 369. BL and what that BL stands for is actually a bunk loft. This is technically a mid bunk floor plan But of course you're gonna have that bunk room and a loft up above first thing I want to touch on of course is the overall length of this big fifth wheel here We're looking at a pin to bumper length of 43 feet and a rough dry weight of about 12,000 pounds So of course with something like this you're gonna to want to have that one ton truck and you'll be easily able to pull it into any campsite you like. So let's talk about some of the construction now with these Heritage Glens, starting with the front of the fifth wheel. So what you're gonna see on the front of this Heritage Glen is a full fiberglass front cap. Of course, your big benefits with something like this is it wraps around all four corners of the actual trailer wall, so it's keeping those main seals protected over the years of use and not allowing water in there uh, which can cause delamination and of course water damage. So this is a must have feature on your fifth wheel. Now, of course, as we work our way back, just behind our beautiful new truck here, you're gonna see it's got a front storage compartment which houses your dual battery setup and of course your spare tire in there too. <clears throat> now, while we were talking about uh, this front side of the trailer, there's a really cool feature that I wanted to touch on. For example, you can see there's a little control pad up here, and this is actually your controller for your auto leveling system. Now this Heritage Glen actually has a six point electric leveling system on here. So the beautiful thing is once you get it into your campsite, you walk over here, you push that auto level button and it drops all four legs or six legs, sorry, down and completely lifts your fifth wheel around until it finds that nice level point for you. So you're not having to do any setup at your campsite. It's a beautiful thing to have. Let's keep working our way down here. So in this compartment, you're gonna see you have dual 30 pound propane tanks, pretty standard in a fifth wheel of this size. So again, it's a must have in here. And it's got the auto switch over for you too, so you're not having to come out here and worry about that. You just turn both bottles on and away you go. Um, right beside us here, this is gonna be your one door into the pass-through storage compartment. So like you can see, there's a big massive door on the other side there with a light. And there is a battery disconnect switch over there too, which is very handy. So when you're done using your, your fifth wheel here, you don't necessarily have to pull those batteries out. You can just hit that switch and you're not gonna have that power draw. Another big feature that you see inside of this compartment is of course your full docking station. This is great because you'll have all your cable and satellite hookups into here. You'll even have your outside shower. It's got a black tank flush, all your water connections too. And of course, this is gonna be where you can winterize also. And what Heritage Glen has done for you to make things super easy is they have the bypass valve right on here for you, another bypass. And this hose is actually just gonna go right down into your uh, uh, antifreeze jug and you can simply start flushing the lines in your trailer. So it's super easy to maintain this coach throughout the winter time on your own. But of course, if you're one that likes to take it in and make sure the professionals are doing it correctly, we would be happy to do it for you too um, at the dealership. Now, as we keep working our way through, a big feature that you do get is a 10 gallon quick recovery hot water tank. This again is gas and electric, and it's a lot larger than what you standardly see in the industry, which is a six gallon. So you have an extra four gallons of hot water here. This is great. You're never, you can take those long showers and yeah, you'll have that ease of mind, uh, peace of mind, I should say. Now, one of the things I wanna to touch on while we were talking briefly about construction there is Heritage Glen is a full six-sided aluminum framed um, and this is a uh, vacuum bonded product too. So all your side walls, even your slide out walls here are built in that nice big vacuum press. So you have that block foam insulation in there with the true two inch wall. You're getting some really good insulation values out of this coach. Plus it's a lot lighter and very strong too. That's one of the things we love to display to a lot of our customers is when you come up beside a fifth wheel and you push on the slide outs, you feel that nice solid construction in here. Follow me down this way and we'll have a look at some other features. For example, you'll have your 50 amp cord here, which is a detachable power cord. Nice feature to have is you don't have to be worrying about stuffing that cord inside your trailer and leaving that big empty space in there, or of course, an easy entrance for rodents. Let's keep going. Now, as we work our way to the back, you'll notice on top of these slide outs, they have the, uh, the attachments for you if you wanted to add the uh, slide topper awnings on there too, so you're not having to worry about getting up there with a broom and sweeping things off. Um, and we can, of course, add that onto this particular fifth wheel at the dealership for you if you so choose. Now, 
Right on the back side, you're gonna notice a couple of features here. You have a ladder to get easily up onto your roof so you can check out those roof seals. Um, or of course, sweep off those slides if you don't wanna do those slide topper awnings. And then right beside that, you're gonna have a pre-wire for a backup camera. Really nice feature to have. We do carry them at Rangeland also so you can have something like that installed and have that good view back into your campsite right inside your truck. Now to finish it all off, you'll notice of course LED lighting all the way around the exterior here so you're not worrying about burning out those incandescent bulbs. And then down on the bottom you actually have a 2 inch receiver here. This works great if you have a bike rack um, or if you have a storage rack that may you want to add to the back of your fifth wheel here. It carries a, an extra 300 pounds also so it's great if you want to put a heavy generator on there, you know a heavier bike rack or some firewood, coolers, you name it, just giving you that much more storage. Let's work our way over to the front side here and talk about some real cool features before we head in. Now one of the really nice things that you gain out of this particular floor plan with Heritage Glen is it has a dual awning setup because of course this does have a slide out that comes into your campsite which most of the time will eat up some awning space, not the case with this fifth wheel. Like you can see, awning here and a massive awning here so the entire side of the trailer is covered in awning so you're going to get lots of uh, shade here of course you're going to have coverage from the rain and they're full power so you just push a button they're easy to bring out and they got the nice led white light underneath it there to help clean the look up and give you some illumina illumination into your campsite now looking at the entry door here a nice little touch that heritage glen does too is they give you this big oversized grab handle so you have that support going up these really nice more ride steps too and again like you've maybe seen on a bunch of our other videos these more ride steps are great because they simply flip right up inside your fifth wheel and lock into place so you're not dealing with those old style steps that essentially are hidden underneath getting full of gravel full of dirt and they're very hard to use and start to rust out over the years of course, if you're on that uneven ground too, once you go to set these steps up, they actually have an adjustment here for the legs on either side, so you can easily stabilize those steps on that uneven ground and have that sturdy entry inside of your trailer. Now, let's keep moving on here. What you're gonna see is another storage compartment, and what we're talking about these storage compartments too, they got a nice thick door to them, which is insulated, and they even have the metal slam latch baggage doors on there. These are great because of course they're individually keyed, plus it's a nice easy system to use. You can do it with one hand. They're a lot more durable than the twist locks that you've seen, so it's a great little touch. On the inside here, they even have some really cool stuff. It may look like a storage compartment, but just around the corner, you actually have a little mini fridge in here too. So of course you're not having to run inside to grab snacks or beverages. They actually have an outlet in here, so if you wanted to set up that margarita maker or something else, you know you have that space to do so. And then of course this is your other entrance into your pass-through storage compartment. Just above that you'll notice they give you actually for your storage doors these little magnetic catches here. These are great because it keeps you from breaking off those plastic ones over the years of use. And then in between that you have an outside TV bracket here too. So if you want to set the TV up outside, watch the game on, right beside the campfire, you can easily do that. Um, you'll have your outside speakers also right here which will tie into your TV for you and they're beautifully backlit with these nice blue LEDs so it really gives you that nice modern look to your trailer. Let's head inside now and we'll talk about some of the really cool features. <clears throat> so first thing I want to touch on when you're coming inside this fifth wheel is the control panel here. So of course you're going to have the LCI One Control which is a great system that runs all your components for you and then just below that you're going to have your other control panel here which like you can see has uh, your tank heaters on here. So what, uh, what Heritage Glen does for you is they completely enclose their underbellies with a really unique system. I believe this actually has the road armor um, underbelly on it. So it's got that plastic underlay that keeps things nice and intact and it's easy to service. Plus what they do on those tanks, of course they're insulated, but they even put 12 volt heat pads on there for you. So over the years of camping, if you want to go into that shoulder season, early spring, late fall, you're fully capable to do so. Now follow me in here, let's start with the kitchen. Because this particular floor plan has an amazing kitchen. For an example, you can see you have this beautiful island with some extra counter space here too, so you have plenty of prep room. And then even on beside the uh, stove here, one of the things I like to point out is lots of times they usually bring this wall right up to the stove so you have no prep space beside, beside you when you're cooking. Not the case here. Of course with your stove, you'll have the three burner cooktop here with the Furion top. They give you these really nice LED lights again to clean up that look and of course you'll have the glass front oven and they even give you a nice big pots and pans drawer underneath here too. 
Now, while we're talking about drawers, one of the really nice things that I like to point out, for example, if you look at this one or the last one, it's all plywood on the inside here, so they're very durable. And then, of course, on either side, you're going to have these full ball bearing extension drawer glides, so you're able to use the entire uh, space inside this drawer. A nice little touch that they also do on their cabinets is you'll notice this is a hidden hinge style construction, so it's a very nice residential finish to it. And they're soft closing too, so it gives you that really nice uh, residential feel inside this beautiful fifth wheel. Looking at the island here, you have a nice big tub stainless sink, and of course they give you that beautiful black stainless uh, pull down faucet. One of the things I like about having a tub sink too is lots of times you see a split, but quite honestly, they're very small, so you can't really use them. For example, if you were to take this here, you can easily put it in that sink and submerge it. You're gonna have plenty of room to do your dishes. Beside me, you're gonna have a 12 cubic foot gas and electric Dometic fridge. These are amazing because they give you plenty of uh, fridge space and plenty of freezer space on either side. And of course, if you're that type that likes to go out into the middle of the bush and dry camp, being that this is gas and electric, you can either run it while the trailer's plugged in or rate right off a of propane for you. Now finishing up in the kitchen here, one of the really, really nice touches that they've given you is you'll have a beautiful uh, storage area up top here, which works great for big appliances or even, you know, bottles of wine and things like that. And then just underneath this, you actually have a French door pantry and they got the glass inlays in here. They got the magnetic catches. This is actually a motion sensor light that they have too. So when we open these doors up, that light will come on for you and there's plenty of storage space and they even add in a little drawer here for you too. So some really nice, well thought out touches that you see in this particular brand. Now, let's move into the living room here and look at your entertainment space. Of course, you're gonna have a beautiful spot for a large TV. Just underneath that, of course, you're gonna have your Jensen stereo system here. This is a DVD CD player. You'll even have the uh, USB inlet there too. And of course, it's AM, FM, and Bluetooth. And this operates your inside speakers and your outside speakers for you too. Just underneath that, some more storage space here, which is great, especially if you wanted to put like a receiver in here or an Xbox or whatever it may be. And then below that, you're gonna have your beautiful graystone fireplace. Now this is awesome. I actually have this running right now and it's blowing out quite a bit of heat. And these put out about 5,100 BTUs of electric dry heat. That'll heat up to 400 square feet of your trailer in about 15 minutes. So it's awesome. You can have that furnace going and this and your trailer's gonna warm up that much quicker. Now, as we look towards the back here, you'll see you have these big panoramic views all the way around. And one of the things that I like to point out too is with their windows, they actually give you the beautiful roll down, uh, pull down roller shades. So these are great, of course, they're slow release too. So as soon as you let them go, they're not gonna wind up on themselves or anything like that. It's a nice slow release. And then of course, they give you the full valences around either side so you can easily block out that light. Just below us here, you're gonna have this nice tri-fold sofa, so this will make out into a bed, and then some additional storage up above too. Now, right above my head, you also see you have a ceiling fan, a great little touch, and just above that too, you're gonna to have one of your air conditioners. Now, this fifth wheel is actually fitted with two air conditioners, and they're both on their own thermostats, so you can, you can control the climate in either end of your fifth wheel, which is a great touch. As we look over here, you're gonna see, of course, your th uh, theater seating, and I should mention, this is all Thomas Paine collection RV furniture too, so it's uh, very well appointed. Of course, you're gonna have the LED light up cup holders, which are beautiful. Just inside here, you're gonna have a little snack spot, if you will, and then even some USB chargers for some phones. One of the things I like to point out with this particular floor plan is you notice the windows start here, and they finish over here. So you're gonna have that full panoramic view into your campsite and not necessarily on the opposing side of your campsite looking into your neighbors. It's a big request that we have from a lot of clients. So this is maybe that fifth wheel that you've been looking for. Right behind me, of course, you're gonna have your dinette here. And one of the things I like to touch on, which I missed in the kitchen here, is the actual uh, fit and finish of the tabletops and your countertops. This is that nice seamless pressed membrane that you're gonna see throughout the entire coach. So it's not gonna peel up on you over the years of use, like those uh, cheaper T molds that you may have seen um, in other trailers. Now this will make down into a bed very easily for you. You just simply remove the top and set it down into place. And then even on either side, you're gonna have these really nice cabinet doors so you can easily get inside here and access all the storage underneath both sides of this dinette. That pretty much wraps up the main area. Let's go and have a look um, into the bunk room now. 
So mid bunk fifth wheels have kind of dominated the uh, the fifth wheel market. It seems to be the most popular floor plan out of every selling fifth wheel in our industry. And like you can see, Heritage Glen has done a great job on this one. For example, right behind me, you're actually gonna have a, a nice uh, sofa here with the flip down cup holders in the middle. Plus you can easily break this down into your bunk bed and they even give you some extra storage underneath here too. So they're utilizing all of that storage space. The top bunk is very easy to set up. We simply just release the pins on either side here. And of course, boom, there, now you have a bunk. There's gonna be a window above it too with a nice pull down blackout shade. And of course, this window is gonna open even though it's a safety exit for you. <clears throat> As we look at the opposite side of the uh, bunk room here, you're gonna notice you actually have a heat duct that comes into here. And then of course, a huge storage spot for all your hanging clothes, or what it may be for jackets too. So this could even work as a little uh, as a little boot room for you if you wanted to um, coming in the front door. Some extra drawer space underneath here too, which are very deep again with that full ball bearing extension drawer glides. And then another spot for maybe even a small TV, or if you'd like, this doesn't have a bottom to it. So if you wanna pull a chair up to here and use it as a desk, you can easily turn this into your little computer room slash office, whatever you like. Let's head upstairs now. So this is one of the big features that you get out of having a mid bunk fifth wheel. You're not losing that massive rear living space that you love to have in a fifth wheel like this. And you're also gaining a lot of bunk space. So for example, this is that nice bunk loft that you see there. It's got some storage in the end of it. You'll also have an air conditioning duct up there and a window with a full blackout shade too. So your guests are always comfortable sleeping up here. There's an easy pull out ladder for you also. So it's nicely tucked away when you're not using the bunk. But of course to set it up, it's a simple lift and pull just like that <clears throat> now as we work our way towards the front I'll uh, I'll head into the bedroom here and I'll let you guys come through into the bathroom and you can see a lot of the touches inside that bathroom are very very well appointed so first thing you'll notice coming into the bathroom you have a foot flush toilet but that's actually a porcelain toilet now too, so it's gonna be very easy to keep clean. And of course, it's gonna last the full life of the trailer. You're gonna have plenty of storage in behind the shower there. And one of the beautiful things with how they've set up this bathroom is you're gonna have this nice sliding glass door shower. It's got the skylight in there too for some extra headroom. You also have a seat in there for you. So it's a very spacious and usable shower. Looking at the vanity here, of course, again, you have that nice seamless countertop. You're gonna have the deep medicine cabinet up above here with the nice soft clothes, and then even a stainless steel sink. This is a nice feature to have because of course, generally you see a shallow plastic one. This of course is not the case. It's gonna be easier to keep clean and again, last that full life of the coach. And of course, to finish it all off, they give you the switch in the wall here for your fantastic fan just above your head. Follow me into the bedroom now. So one of the things that I really like about this particular floor plan with Heritage Glen is first of all, take note of all the little details that they've done. Lots of times you just see a straight across mirror here. They give you that really nice barn door look on your closet. You have a king bed here in the slide out for you with a nice comfortable mattress. And then in behind me, you're gonna see this door swings open. You're gonna have a nice big hanging bar and they even stretch it out deeper to give you some more storage. And then on the opposite side of us here, you'll have your washer and dryer prep. And what they've done here that's very smart is they've actually recessed this back into the, uh, the front cap. And what you can do is a full stackable washer dryer in here too. So it's a little bit nicer than having to just settle with one of those uh, single all-in-one units. They also have a pre-wire prep for a King Wi-Fi system if you so choose to do um, inside this fifth wheel and we can easily set you up with that. Another little touch, they give you a little bench in here too. So in the morning when you can sit down, put your socks on, things like that. Of course, it's got a TV backer up above your dresser here and the dresser's really nice and deep also. And then yeah, you can mount your TV here, have your own little private space. They got little uh, um, night tables on either side of the bed so you can put your phones there. Of course, dual opposing windows so you can get that nice cross breeze in here. So it's, yeah, it's a very well appointed bedroom. Let's go down into the main area and we'll, uh, we'll finish up. One of the things I like to touch on too is for Heritage Glen, they're probably one of our most 
modernized interiors that you can get. So they have that really nice looking, um, I think this is called the shiplap style linoleum look to it. Of course, into the ceiling, you have these really beautiful chandeliers here. And they actually do a wood bracing across the roof material. So you're not seeing that cheap plastic stuff that ends up coming off or even just the, the seam tape, which of course always comes off. And they even trim the wood around the edges. So it's a very well appointed trailer. The fit and finish is great. And you should see the price point on one of these things. You know, thanks again for watching guys. If you do have any questions, make sure you reach out to us. Again, I'm Ty the RV guy. Give me a call. Ask me about these RV show pricing that we have on right now. And thanks again for watching. Happy camping. Hey everyone, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Heritage Glen 378FL. This is one of our most popular selling fifth wheels right now at the dealership and it's mainly because you have a beautiful front living, uh, front living floor plan of this fifth wheel with a rear bedroom and it even has a loft up above there to give you bunk beds. So it's a mixture of all the real popular floor plans of a big fifth wheel all slammed into one. So we're really excited to show this to you here. Now with this particular coach, what you're looking at for an overall length is about 43 feet from pin to bumper and you're roughly about 12,000 pounds dry. So you're gonna wanna have that bigger diesel truck to pull this out to your campsite for you. Now another thing that we love to talk about with Heritage Glen is the quality of construction that you get out of this brand. This is a true vacuum bonded coach and they do aluminum framing and block foam insulation throughout the, entire, uh, the entirety of the coach. So what you're gonna see of course is they, they do that aluminum framing block foam insulation in their walls, their slide out walls also and very unique to the brand, they even do it into the floor. So a big benefit with something like that is it keeps your trailer a lot lighter, but it also gives you an extra barrier of insulation in your flooring too. Now, while we're on the topic of construction, one of the things I do wanna to touch on is the underbelly of this coach. You might be able to see it up at the front here, and uh, as we look underneath, one of the really cool things that they do is called a road armor underbelly. So if you come in here and you can have a look underneath the actual fifth wheel, you'll see it actually has plastic panels. And one of the big benefits that you'll see here is with those panels, they are removable. So if you ever need to service the underbelly of your coach, um, a technician won't have to cut a hole through anything and damage your underbelly. They can simply just take a section of it out. Another thing is, of course, it's a lot stronger than that thin underbelly coating that you usually see on most brands. So it's a big plus for the Heritage Glen here. Let's talk about some of the really cool exterior features. For example, you'll see you have this nice big uh, power awning with the LED light strip that stretches out over both doors and it's gonna give you a lot of shaded space here too. It is an adjustable arm on there too, so if you are in some heavy rain, you can easily tilt it to one side and allow it to drain off really easily. Like you can see at the front here, you also have some outside speakers for you, which are backlit with the blue LEDs, so it gives you that really nice modern look. And then just in behind this door, you're gonna see your full pass-through storage compartment. This is great, of course, because it gives you a ton of extra storage and some nice touch they do in here also is of course you can see they have a battery disconnect switch in there a nice handy tool so you're not having to take your batteries off when you're not using this trailer you can simply hit the switch and you're not going to have any battery drain um, one of the other touches too that i'll mention while we're talking about the storage door here is they even do a metal slam latch on here so something like that is much nicer than those you know simple turn keys that you see because um, this is a lot easier to use plus they're deadbolt uh, deadbolt locks too. So you can take the same key for your entry door and use it inside your storage compartments too. So you can make sure your things are locked and secure. Now, as we work our way back to the, uh, the main entrance here, you'll also notice on both of your entries, you'll have these beautiful Moride steps. Moride steps are probably a must have on all of your big fifth wheels because they're so easy to use. You can flip them up inside the trailer like so. 
Of course, they're adjustable on either side too, so you can always get that nice stable entry inside of your coach, and it keeps them protected from you know, wearing out over the years, like those ones you see tucked underneath the, the, uh, the fifth wheels. Now, as we work our way uh, over this way, you'll have an outside TV bracket, which is really cool, with of course your uh, cable outlet here and some power plugins also. And then just as we work our way back, you'll notice here's your second entrance there for you as well with the more ride step. While we're talking about the doors too, one of the nice things that they also put in is that friction hinge system. So this can take up to a 25 kilometer an hour wind. So of course, if that wind picks up, you're not worried about it slamming and hurting somebody. Plus it's not gonna slam against the trailer and hurt that either. Um, another little touch you may have noticed on both the doors, they give you these really big oversized grab handles. Works great, especially if you have little kids because they can easily grab onto something while they're coming up these steps. Let's work our way over to the back side here and talk about some cool features. So what you'll notice on the back side is of course it has a ladder to get up onto your roof. It is a fully walkable roof so you can get up there, check out your, uh, your uh, seals on the top, make sure you're doing your yearly maintenance and that type of thing. Of course you're going to be pre-wired for a backup camera as well. So it's a lot easier backing into your campsite. And then you'll also notice you'll have LED lighting all the way around the coach too so you're not worried about those incandescent bulbs burning out over years of use. They even give you a nice solid bumper along the bottom here. So if you did want to mount a bike rack or something like that, like a storage carrier here, you can easily do that. Follow me around this way and we'll uh, talk about some more exterior features on the back side of the coach now. So one of the things that you will notice is on your smaller slides here, um, what uh, Heritage Glen is going to use is called a Schwintec system. These are great because this is a four, uh, four corner uh, gear track system that evenly pushes your slide in and pulls it out. Um, plus if it ever has a failure, you can easily bring it in and out and it'll reset itself too. On the bigger slides, what you're going to notice is this has a full rack and pinion system. It's probably one of the best things you can have on your fifth wheel for a larger slide because it's very, very heavy duty. If it does have a failure, it's very easy to crank in um, rather than uh, smaller cable slides or things like that where cables can stretch or of course, you know, you have to wind it in and it's a very big pain. Now, while we're looking underneath here, I wanted to show you too, you can see your gate valves there. Um, you'll have a couple that are exposed and then you'll even have one that's uh, hidden up in top there for the black tank flush or the black tank dump there. Um, and then just around all the corners you'll also notice or I should say the corners of the tires here you'll even have a full electric leveling system. So this actually has a six point leveling system for you so you can simply come to the front of the coach here there's a panel that you push on the side and it'll actually lower these jacks down to completely level your fifth wheel for you while you're at the campsite. Now inside your passenger storage compartment, you'll also notice your full docking station here. This is a great system to have because it makes winterizing much easier. You can simply take this hose, drop it down into one of your uh, antifreeze jugs, and then start flushing the lines throughout the trailer. Um, of course, you have the valve here and the valve here, so it's nice and easy access to switch everything around. And then you'll have your black tank flush, your water connections here, and they even give you the outside shower right inside of there too, in case you're wanting to spray out maybe your dump hose after. So once we give this a close, you'll notice on the opposite side of this, you'll have your propane tanks. And what Heritage Glen does is they give you the two 30 pound tanks, which is of course the oversize compared to the 220s, and it's got that auto switch over for you. Now one of the things I did miss while we were looking on this side here is your hot water tank. You're going to have an oversized 10 gallon quick recovery hot water tank. This of course is also gas and electric. So if you are that dry camper, you have both methods of power, either running it right off electricity or even running it right off your propane tanks, which is great. Follow me over to the front here. There was one thing I did want to talk about before we jump inside and that is the big fiberglass cap. So of course on a major fifth wheel like this, this is a key component because what it's gonna do is protect the outside seals um, of the most susceptible spot of your fifth wheel to water leaks. So of course it wraps around the top, all the sides and underneath. And being that it's fully painted, it really gives you that nice look. And then of course it even has the LED light strip underneath the bottom there so you can see what you're doing when you're hitching it up to the truck like we have it hitched up here. So let's go inside here and we'll talk a little bit more about the interior features. A couple of things you may have noticed on the outside too before we head in. You have the slide toppers that can be added on to every single one of your slides here. And you know, there's gonna be a lot of options that we can help you out with 
um, through our parts department there. So just let us know what you're wanting to do with this trailer and we can easily set it up for you the way you like it. Now, once you come inside here, you're gonna notice you have a beautiful kitchen. So nice big island here. And then of course, big dual fridge. You're gonna have a three burner cooktop here. On the topic of this fridge, this is a 12 cubic foot, again, gas and electric. So one of the really nice things about gas and electric, like I was mentioning for that hot water tank, is if you are dry camping, of course, you can still run this off of propane, or of course, if you're at the campsite with power, you can easily hook it up to power. Lots of storage space in there too, so it's almost like the fridge that you might have at home. Now, while we're over here looking at the oven, this is a really, really nice Furion oven there. So what they're gonna do is the nice glass front there for you. And then of course, you have the nice LED lighting around the sides here too. And then a three burner cooktop with the tempered glass cover to maximize that counter space for you. On the topic of counter space also, I always mention this in most of my videos, where you'll see an additional spot to place some items here while you're cooking. It's not something you see a lot of times, usually they kind of tuck it into a tight space, so it is something to note with this particular floor plan. Up above that, of course, being this is the Fold Furion appliance package, you're gonna see the Furion range hood and your Furion RV microwave there for you too. Now, other little details that we'd like to talk about too with Heritage Glen, especially in the kitchens here, are the countertops. These are a seamless press membrane that you have, so it's a lot better than that team old stuff that starts to peel apart over the years um, and starts to look like crap essentially in you know, a couple of years of use of your trailer. That's not the case with something like this. They're going to hold up for a long period of time. Of course, with all your cabinets as well, you're going to have solid wood construction, hidden hinge style inside of there as well. And you'll even notice this is a soft close touch that they have on the cabinet doors. Inside your drawers here, again, full ball bearing extension drawer glides, real plywood inside of there for you too. <clears throat> now on the topic of the island here, there was some things I wanted to mention. For example, you can see this has a massive tub stainless sink. So this is great because sometimes you do see a split sink in these big fifth wheels and they're very hard to use to fit like a big pan or something like that in there. Not the case with this, it's a very usable sink. They give you this beautiful little drying rack that fits perfectly into place along with a little pull out faucet here for you on your black stainless high rise. So looking over into the corner here, they give you this nice extra little spot of counter space and storage. I love how they do the glass cabinetry in here too. Really gives you that nice modern look. And if you actually look up towards the ceiling, I find that this brand does a really nice job on their interior decors. For example, you can see these beautiful chandeliers. Um, they even give you some real wood trim in the ceiling there too, instead of that seam tape that you usually see that falls down or the plastics. So it's really, really well put together. Even along the edges there, you can see all that real wood construction, which is really nice. Now, as we look over into the dining area here, you have a freestanding table. This is super great because of course, now you're not into a dinette, which is really hard to squeeze around. Something like this, very easy to get four people in here. And if you needed to add more, of course you have the uh, table extension here and it's even a little live edge table too. So it gives you that nice look. Now let's work our way towards the back. And as we're coming back here, you'll notice you'll have um, both of your uh, uh, thermostats here. This is a nice feature to have because of course this trailer is equipped with dual air conditioning. So now with something like this, you can control both the air conditioners in different, uh, different ends of the trailer, giving you different climates too. So just above that, you also have your LCI panel here, which can control a lot of the features. For example, your slide outs, your awnings, even your leveling rate from the push of a button there. And then on this end, you'll even have the uh, Forest River panel. So something like this, simple toggle switches for your slide outs as well. You'll even have all of your lights in here too. And one of the things I did miss with this underbelly is yes, it's enclosed, yes, it's insulated, but they even give you the tank heater switch here too. So that turns on all of your 12 volt heat pads on your tanks. So if you're that early season or late season camper, you're good to go. Now I'll let you guys come back this way and I'll let you peek into the bathroom because it is a little bit tighter in this area. But as you go in, some things you're gonna notice, of course, you have a foot flush porcelain toilet there. So again, a lot better than that plastic. You're gonna have a full sliding glass door shower, which is really nice. And of course, it even gives you the seat in there too. So nice residential feature that you might have at home. And then as we look at the actual sink in here, this is again, that seamless press membrane. So not that T-mold that you may see come apart over the years. And they even do a stainless sink in the bathroom. So you can see the quality construction hasn't been missed even into little details like that. Nice medicine cabinet up above here again with the soft close. 
and then down at the bottom you're going to have some more storage as well i love how they put the little hanging baskets in here too just to give you that extra added touch um, and of course some extra places to put things <clears throat> Now, as we work our way down, this is gonna be, of course, your master bedroom for the trailer. So what they do here for you is they actually give you the full bed on the slide out here. There is gonna be some storage underneath here as well. So you can see a huge tub uh, chest, or what we'll call it, is a big chest for storage. And of course, you have dual opposing windows on either side, so you can get that cross breeze there. And then of course, right at the very back, they also give you this really big window. So you can have some really nice panoramic views. There's even another window right to the front side of the trailer too. So it's awesome. You got a 360 view inside your bedroom here. Talking about the windows as well, you'll also notice they use a pull down roller shade inside these trailers. So it really blocks out all that light um, and gives you that privacy. Plus during the daytime, it helps keep that heat out of here too. Now over here, you have a big spot where you can even put a TV. It's all backed in there if you can hang it or if you wanna set it on the, on the actual uh, top here. And then as you work your way down, you're gonna see lots of deep drawers, full ball bearing extension drawer glides on either side. Over here, we're gonna have some hanging wardrobe space on the top and even down on the bottom there for you too. Now, just behind you, Mr. Cameraman there, there also is another spot, which I'll, I'll turn around and show you. And this goes underneath that staircase for you. So this is gonna be a spot where you can either use for a wardrobe or you even have a washer and dryer connection in there. So if you wanted to do that, uh, that all in one style unit, it can easily tuck away and it's out of the way for you there too. Let's head upstairs and show you one of the really cool features. I'll let you guys go up there. So you notice as you go up the stairs, it's just a left hand turn right around the corner. And what Heritage Glen is going to give you is this really cool loft. So what they've added in here now is you have four inch thick bunk mattresses. So they're very, very comfortable for the kids to sleep on um, or whoever may be up here. And then of course, you're going to have some storage along the back side here and then all around the front side of it too. And each bunk space is going to have their own plugins and they're each going to have their own USB chargers too. Um, the windows all up all open up top there too so you can get some good ventilation and there is air conditioning ducts up there as well for you. Let's head up to the front now. <clears throat> so one of the little touches that I love is even when you look at these steps here, instead of just doing like a traditional step, they actually give you like a nice um, free ledge there. It looks really cool. It's again, just another added little detail that you're gonna find out of Heritage Glen. And then once you get in the front of the fifth wheel here, there's actually quite a bit of height. So I'm six feet tall and I can easily stand in here. If you're about six three or six four, you might be getting close, but still there's gonna be that head space. And then of course, at the very front with your entertainment unit here, You'll have some storage on either side for movies or whichever it may be. You're gonna have your sound bar here through the Jensen stereo unit. And this of course operates your inside and outside speakers. Um, and this is a DVD CD player, it's AM FM Bluetooth. Um, and you'll even have a USB inlet there for you as well. Big spot for a TV here. There's even some USB plugins right beside it. Lots of outlets and you're pre-wired for the King Wi-Fi router too as well. Now on either side, gonna be some real good storage space here as well. So I can't stress enough, there is an immense amount of storage inside this trailer and outside. Now, if you do like to have guests over quite a bit too, this is a great spot where you can actually close this area off. You'll have a couple beds here, and these are trifold sofas for you, so it simply pulls out into a bed on either side. And what I've actually had clients do in the past is you can easily take a, uh, a shower curtain bar or something like that, apply it to the top corners of the wall here and just drag a curtain across and it's almost like having a second bedroom for guests when they come in. Now on this end here, you're also gonna have um, extending sofas so you can easily recline out here and it's all Thomas Payne collection furniture that they use inside these Heritage Glens as well. So it's really nice, uh, nice material. It's not that cheap RV grade stuff that you may have seen before. And they even add in these LED light up cup holders here too. So. Um, all in-floor ducted heat, like I mentioned, dual AC on this unit, completely ducted throughout. So, you know, guys, if you have the chance to come down and look at this fifth wheel, you got to do it. This is one of our most popular selling units that we have on the lot. So don't be shy. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a call. Again, I'm Ty, the RV guy. Call us about our RV show pricing on right now and happy camping.
folks, I'm Russell Spencer. I am with Forest River Cardinal, and I am super excited to introduce you guys to the 352 BHLE Cardinal Limited High Profile Double Bedroom Fifth Wheel. We are super excited for this floor plan. As you will see when I go through this, this is gonna have two bedrooms, so a king bed up front, a queen bed out back with the loft over top, and to add to that, a bath and a half. So super excited, let's talk about Cardinal. Cardinal, 26 years in the industry, high profile fifth wheel. We are the longest running high profile fifth wheel on the market, okay? So when we talk high profile, this guy is built on the new generation Lippard Z frame. So it is going to front storage. It is a double frame underneath, okay? And it allows walk-in front closet in this floor plan. Okay, talking construction wise, when we go up to the roof, you are gonna have a 3 8 stacking up there, okay? It is fully walkable. On top of that, you are going to have the PVC roofing, okay? So 20 year warranty on that. So really excited to introduce that to the, to the industry this year as a 20 year warranty, okay? Everything else out there is a 15 or 18. Okay, the best thing about this PVC roofing, it is a puncture resistant roofing now, okay? So it is not like that rubber roof where you could pick it up or you would see it floating as it's driving down the road. This really adheres to the roof of the trailer and it is puncture resistant. So if you do by chance happen to catch a tree or anything like that, it is really going to resist that. If it doesn't, it is patchable. Okay, so you can repair this roof as well if you do need to. So that's an added bonus as well. Under there, you're gonna have double batted insulation. Okay, so two bats of insulation, radiant foil across the entire top, down the front and back as a trailer as well. Okay, that radiant foil is also gonna follow into that underbelly as well. Your walls coming down the trailer are gonna be a two inch vacuum bonded. Okay, R9 rated insulation on there. All of your slide walls, okay, are vacuum bonded. Side walls are vacuum bonded and roof on your sides, okay. Floors are gonna be wood, uh, solid plywood on the, on the slide out floors. Main floor, 5 8 tongue and groove, solid plywood flooring, okay. No lamination, no soft spots when you're walking on it. It feels solid as it needs to be, okay. When you get into the underbelly, okay, you're going to have what's called underbelly. So when the camera goes underneath there, you're gonna see we have four by eight ABS high impact plastic. Okay, so the best advantage for this is if you do need to access any of your underbelly components, you can just slide that four by eight sheet to the side, either which way, and access. Okay, you're not cutting into your underbelly and you're not, um, destroying any of that undercarriage, okay? So it's going to be rock and road debris uh, resistant, okay? Up front, you're gonna see 30 pound, 30 pound propane tank and in your, you're gonna see LED lights, okay? The uh, battery disconnect, light switches, 110s, we do four point corner uh, tie down, so all of your stuff is going to not be shifting around and when we get up to the front, you're gonna have your front cap that's cut out for the 90 degree turns, okay? We got the front lights. On the limiteds, you're gonna have your Rhino box, okay, a little bit smaller so that it fits better into the truck. All of our units are gonna be gen set prepped, okay? We do lots of room for double batteries, okay? When you come around to the side here, this is where your six point auto level, okay? So with Cardinal, we do all six point hydraulic auto leveling, okay? So no electric leveling, quick, easy, don't gotta get down, pin your legs or anything like that, okay? At Cardinal, we also do full uh, docking station. So all of your outside shower, um, all of your gate valves are all heated, enclosed in the front storage that's all heated, okay? So you will have no issues uh, extended season camping all of your hot water bypasses. Limiteds are gonna be 10 gallon hot water tank, okay? 35K furnace coming around to the back. We give you 
Lots of storage everywhere that we can. Okay, you will see all metal slam catches. Okay, so nice latching. Okay, we do all magnetic catches for your doors. Okay, so we're going to be all rear camera prep as well. Okay, and every unit will have a ladder. When you have your outside kitchens with Cardinals, the great things that we do, we do all metal countertops, okay? So no wooden countertops anywhere uh, so that resist that moisture, right, from all the rain and stuff. We do the larger fridge for the outside kitchen, and we always include the griddle, okay? So a nice little griddle that you can do bacon and eggs on. Uh, we give you the water spigot as well so that you have some water. On all of your entrances in Cardinal, you are going to have the solid step for the limiteds. Okay, so it does just fold up into the, into the doorway. Okay, and shut the door. Great thing about Cardinal is we do all 32 inch doorways. Okay, so we are a wider door. When you come inside, You're gonna see some fantastic design features in here. Great colors, we do feature accent walls. Um, Cardinal, all solid surface countertops for your kitchens, okay? In your limited, you're going to have the matte black sink with the matte black faucet, pull out, okay? And nice roll up uh, dish dryer, okay? All of your limiteds are gonna have the larger 21 inch suburban oven and stove. Okay, so you can actually cook something in that guy. We will be all soft closed drawers. Okay, 30 inch over the stove microwave. Okay, so larger residential size microwave, not just that little small guy, right? We do two fridges, so we do either residential size fridge or we do the 18 cube gas electric, right? Which is the industry's biggest gas electric fridge on the market, right? So we don't skimp, we don't go smaller fridges, we keep everything as big as we can, right? We do convenience items everywhere in this trailer, okay? So we do 110 plugs, we do USB plugs on both sides, down by the recliners, right? Uh, beside your beds, you will see convenience items everywhere so we really try to help the consumer out right we listen to the consumer we do all uh, electric um, theater seating right so it's all massage and electric has USB plugs in it as well we do the larger 40 inch fireplace okay with the big TVs with the Bluetooth surround sound as well when you come into this floor plan, this is what's so great about this floor plan, right? Is this is the second bedroom. So this is a full queen with a loft upstairs for the kids. Okay, again, you got USB plugs up there. You got USB plugs on the base of this bed. You got lots of storage everywhere. Double bank, right? One of the great things Cardinal does too is we do all metal ladders. Okay, so no, none of those little flimsy wood. You know, I'm not the smallest guy, so um, when I go up ladders to make the kids' beds, right? And then you'll see the second half bath, right? Again, we do all metal sinks, no plastic sinks anywhere, porcelain toilets everywhere, even for the kids, right? Lots of storage. You'll just see we do a lot of nice things, right? We do the frosted glass in our doors. We do beautiful subway tile backsplash. Lots of storage wherever we can. When you come up to our control panels, okay, what's great about Cardinal is we do all app-based control panels. So you download Cardinal control panel. You can check your slide outs, your tanks. You can move your awning slides. Um, check everything that you need to check, right? When you come into our bedrooms, okay, this is the advantage of that Lippard next generation Z frame, right? Is you can actually do a full walk-in closet, okay, and you can actually get dressed in here. You have no step, okay? Lots of storage, lots of uh, washer dryer prep, 
lots of dresser drawers, um, lots of storage over here as well. Right, again, on both sides of the beds, you'll have 110 plugs. Um, we do in your bathroom, okay? So on this guy, you're gonna be a two-piece residential shower with the porcelain toilet. Okay, so the shower's got the nice step or the nice seat in it, right? So you can actually do what you need to do. Again, all metal sinks, and we really try to give that luxury of home inside the bathroom, right? So we do the bigger, bigger mirrors, lots of storage. And guys, for the weekend, for this RV show for Rangeland, I'm down from the States. I had to quarantine for 14 days. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually, I live around here. So, but I do work for Forest River and what's happening this weekend, guys, big virtual show for Rangeland RV. Um, we are super, super excited that they are able to come together, persevere through all of this um, stuff that's going on in the world and really give the best deals that they can possibly give to try and get people out camping because what else is there? We've got nothing, right? So we need to get out. We need to get out to the wilderness. Enjoy it. You can put this out on a piece of land somewhere, drive out to it two, three hours away. It sits there and it's just ready for you, right? So it's really exciting. We're bringing incentives. Rangeland's got incentives. So let's really try to click on the link below and visit us online. Visit us online. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, Ty the RV guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Rockwood Ultralight 2891BH. This floor plan features a beautiful front queen bed, you're going to have a nice living space there with a U-shaped dinette slide out and a big bunk room in the back. First thing I want to jump into with you guys on here is the overall length which we're looking at about 36 feet and 6 inches from pin to bumper and a rough dry weight of around that 9,000 pounds. So if you have that souped up half ton with maybe some airbags in the back in um, the max tow packages you can find you might even be able to get this thing down the highway. If not of course you're going to want to have a larger truck to get it out to your campsite. But first thing we love to go over with Rockwood is the construction. This is what we call a six sided vacuum bonded aluminum frame coach and the unique part with Rockwood is they bring that block foam insulation and aluminum framing all the way up into the roof too. So you have a four inch thick vacuum bonded roof, which is gonna be a great feature to give you that ultra lightweight construction, but incredible durability. Now, another thing that we love to talk about on these fifth wheels is the suspension system. Something that you won't find on any other fifth wheel in this category is it has independent rubber ride suspension. One of the great things with that is that independence is gonna allow for that trailer to ride evenly with the road going down uh, uneven terrains. So it's gonna flow just like your vehicle will, actually helping it from trailer sway. Another factor that you can uh, use in with that uh, independent suspension is the rubber ride bushings in there are gonna absorb that vibration from passing back inside your coach, essentially protecting it over the years of use. And to top it all off, Rockwood even takes it up another level with their suspension system and tires, and they give you a name brand Goodyear tire along with full onboard tire pressure monitoring systems. So what that's gonna do, of course, is you can see inside your vehicle now um, the temperature and pressure of your tires real time going down the highway. It's a great feature to have and it's really hard to find in this category of fifth wheel. Now, let's talk about some really uh, cool exterior features now and we'll start up at the front here. So, um, for example, you'll see on this Rockwood, this has a fully molded fiberglass cap. And one of your big benefits with something like this is of course it wraps around all the major seams of the, of the fiberglass on the front of your coach and it's essentially keeping those seams from ever coming apart and allowing water inside your trailer, um, causing delamination and water damage. So this is a crucial feature to have on all of your fifth wheels. So if you're looking at something that doesn't have it, I mean it's definitely something you should be considering. Um, another big feature that you'll see, of course, as we start moving our way back here is Rockwood uses frameless bonded windows. 
These are great because of course, they're actually a seamless window so it protects the seals over the years of use from uh, color, or not color fading, sorry, but sun cracking and things like that. And of course they open from the bottom out so you can use them in the rain. And they just look a lot nicer than your standard RV window. <clears throat> As we start working our way over here, you have a, a big full power awning. This is a great feature to have because of course a simple push of a button you can draw your awning out for you and Rockwood again takes it up that another level and they give you a full one control system here now that's compatible with your cell phone. So what you can do is right on the control panel inside there take a picture of the QR scan code download that app for you and you can actually draw your awning out move your slide outs and of course even turn your lights on and off inside the coach right from a push of a button on your mobile device it's really cool. Now, as we look behind me here, you're gonna see you have a big pass-through storage compartment, and Rockwood uses, of course, the metal slam latches on their baggage doors for you, so they're a lot more durable than the twist latches that you may see, and of course, they're deadbolt lockable, so that means Rockwood uses the key alike system. So the same key that operates your deadbolt in your door is also gonna operate the key locks in your uh, storage compartments, so no one's getting in there and uh, essentially taking your items that you have in your storage compartment. Another nice little touch is they actually use magnetic door catches on their, uh, on their uh, cargo doors. It's a lot better than those little plastic clips that you see that always end up breaking in years of use of your fifth wheel. So it's again those little details that Rockwood does that makes them such a great product. <clears throat> now on the inside here you're going to see your full pass through storage compartment. Um, I really like how they give you this rubberized flooring in here too so it helps keep the floor from getting scratched when you're putting big items in there. And then of course there's a heat duct that flows down into here as well and I'll show you some really cool features on the other side. Again another nice little touch you may have noticed in there is even like they put little hangers for your tools and everything so Rockwood is one of those brands which once you start looking through their, their categories that they have to offer in travel trailers and fifth wheels they always do these little details that make a big difference in your uh, camping experience. <clears throat> now as we're looking at the door here you have a full um, you're going to have a full screen door of course you also have a uh, a friction hinge door hinge here so this will take up to a 25 kilometer an hour wind which is great and of course if that wind picks up even harder than that they still give you the little plastic latch on the back here too so you're fully secured. Um, again those little details I love to mention you have an auto closing screen door with the screenshot there and then of course just up above they even give you another blind inside your door there too so you can absolutely block out all the light of your windows in your trailer. <clears throat> now before we walk away from the door here I do want to talk about these steps. These are really cool because of course you've seen them on other trailers. This is a more ride uh, uh, step system. So one of the great features you have with this particular more ride is it's actually gas strut assisted. You can simply pick it up with one finger like I'm doing here and you can see it actually holds itself into place so they're ultra light. Um, and then of course you have adjustability on either side of these steps and it's a, just a lot better than those steps that fold up underneath your fifth wheel that get full of gravel and dirt and uh, just become very hard to use over the years. <clears throat> now as we keep working our way across here, I'll show you you have another storage compartment which also goes inside your trailer. Again, it's not very big, but most manufacturers would have just left this as solid wall. Rockwood, again, they're gonna do every little detail that they can possibly offer you, right? So instead of just leaving this as wasted space, they actually put a storage door in here and then give you that little bit of extra room for something else. Now, just above my head here, you're gonna have an outside TV bracket. Of course, you have outside Bluetooth speakers here too. And then Rockwood will also provide you with an outside cast iron cooktop. It's that suburban cooktop you may have seen before. It's really nice. You have that removable top there and you have the gas connection for it just underneath the, uh, the fifth wheel here. Now, as we're looking down here, what you're gonna notice too is this ground control 3.0. This is a really cool feature that we've added to this Rockwood fifth wheel and essentially what it is, is it's your full auto leveling system. So just on the other side of that pass through storage compartment, I'll show you where that panel is, but you can simply push a button on your fifth wheel. It's going to drop down the rear legs and the front legs once you of course have it hooked off the truck and completely balance out your fifth wheel so you're nice and level and it saves you all that time from having to put wood blocks underneath the tires or digging holes and trying to get everything level. It's an amazing feature to have on your fifth wheel. Now, six gallon quick recovery hot water tank there and then as we work our way towards the back you're gonna see you have this awesome outside kitchen so of course you're gonna have a nice mini fridge here so it's great to keep your beverages and snacks in here and as Mitch likes to say of course he's got kids and you got to be feeding them every hour of the day so this is definitely something that's nice if you have a family because <clears throat> you can easily access the snacks now just beside me here you're gonna have a two burner cooktop 
which opens nice and easily. Oh, what's going on here? Maybe they added a lock to it. All right, we're moving on from that. It's a simple system here. I think there might be something that we had twisted up wrong there, but what you can do, of course, when you're done using this two burner cooktop is there's a couple little latches here, and I love this feature. You can actually simply slide it away nice and easily there. So of course, if the kids are running around outside here, you're not worried about one of them walking into the side of it. And then just above that, you're also gonna have a nice little storage compartment where if you wanted to bring, um, you know, maybe like an ice maker or something like that out here, you got some plugins for it as well. And then just beside it to top it all off, you have an outside hot and cold sprayer here. So that works great if you like to use those big cast iron pans, maybe on the fire pit, you can simply walk it over here after, give it a good spray down with the hose that comes with the trailer. Um, or even if you need to, you know, spray down the, your shoes or things like that, it's just a really nice tool to have on your fifth wheel. Let's work our way around the backside now. We'll uh, cut through the jungle here. Uh, you gonna make it through there, cameraman? Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So now that we're at the back side of the trailer, a couple things you're gonna notice. You have this nice big rear window here, and then just up above that, you're gonna have an outside um, backup camera prep. So this is great because of course we do carry the cameras at Rangeland. It's a simple plug and play system. And the nice feature about it is, yes, you can use it for backing into your campsite, but another thing that you can do is even while you're traveling down that highway, you can have that screen playing inside your vehicle. So if you're making, uh, if you're looking to make a lane change or something like that, and you wanna see your big blind spot behind the fifth wheel here, it's very easy to see what you're doing when you're towing. Now, of course, you're gonna have a ladder to get up onto your roof for you here. This is, again, that four inch vacuum bonded roof, so it is completely walkable. And of course, you can get up there, check your seals out, and do your yearly maintenance. Um, on the bottom, you're gonna have this really nice uh, full bumper here. So, and just below that, what Rockwood does right at the factory for you is they give you a two inch receiver there. Now that two inch receiver actually has a 300 pound weight capacity. So a great thing with something like that is if you wanna put a bike carrier on here or even just a, like a storage rack of some sort to give you that added storage, you're set to do so. Um, again, you're gonna have a little storage compartment here that just reaches back. Again, it's, it's a small storage compartment, but most manufacturers would have just left this completely nothing. So it gives you every little part of your trailer. Um, to top it all off, as we're working our way around here, you'll see all the lights are actually a LED lighting. So you're not seeing any of those incandescent bulbs around the fifth wheel that always end up burning out over the years. And of course you gotta go replace them. Now with your power cord, this particular fifth wheel actually has a 50 amp service on it. So what they do is they give you a nice detachable power cord here. So you're not worried about having to wind that cord right up inside the fifth wheel, taking up interior space. And then you'll have your water fill right beside that as well. Now, as we're working our, our way around to the fifth wheel here, or the slide out, I should say, one thing I love to point out is, of course, if you look at other brands in this category, you can usually walk up to the slide out walls and give them a push and you'll feel that pop. And the big thing is, is that's now not a fully bonded wall. So it's a lot more susceptible to delamination and bubbles forming in here. That's not the case with Rockwood. Again, your six sided vacuum bond construction. So just like your side walls here, nice and solid, same thing with your slide out walls. And then of course, as we make our way around to the back slide out wall, it's the same thing. And I'll even show you inside when we get into the trailer, the, the structure of the roof. Now, again, another little storage compartment here for you. Metal slam latches on there as well. You're gonna find that on the majority of your storage doors. <clears throat> and then we'll work our way around to the back and you'll see this actually stretches underneath the dinette. Now, there's something really important here that I love to show everybody. And what you may notice, of course, is this interior aluminum framing. Lots of times you'll see that in a pass-through storage compartment, um, but to actually see that now inside the fifth wheel, this is actually just underneath the dinette there. So Rockwood is actually building all of their furniture and things like that inside their trailers with aluminum framing. So your big benefit with that, of course, they're not using wood, which isn't gonna last as long and it's a lot heavier. And quite honestly, Rockwood's the only brand that you'll find where they do complete exterior aluminum construction and interior aluminum construction. It is such a nice feature to have, and that's why in a 36 uh, foot fifth wheel like this, you're only looking at 9,000 pounds. Now, let's come back over this way here. You do have a nice outside work light here that you can simply turn on 
if of course you're hooking up to the dumps and that kind of stuff where you'll find on this side of the trailer. And as we come down here to look at your dumps, you'll notice they're up nice and tall there. So you're not worried about hitting them on anything and you have fully enclosed gate valves. So one of the things that we also make sure that we mention to every customer on these Rockwoods is they have a fully enclosed underbelly um, and of course fully enclosed gate valves, but Rockwood steps it up another notch and they even give you 12 volt heat pads on all of your tanks and they heat, uh, heat wrap all of your gate valves too. So you, if you're that shoulder season camper that likes to go in the early spring or late fall, you're set to do so. Now, here's the entrance into your other storage, your pass through here. They give you a nice little latch there instead of having you hold the door up all the time. And then like you can see, this is that control for your auto leveling here. And then just up above that, you're also gonna have a full built-in um, uh, water purifier. So that's a nice little touch that Rockwood does right at the factory for you. So if you're concerned about the water that you're getting at the campsite, you know, you're, it's gonna be nice and clean for you. Now to top it all off inside this compartment, you're gonna see on my right side here, this is your full docking station. So what you're gonna have here, of course, is your black tank flush. You're gonna have your full winterizing set up here, outside shower, so this trailer actually has two of them, or outside sprayer, I should say. They even give you a little power cord in here too, or a power connection, so if you need to hook something up on this side of the trailer, you can. But one of the really cool features about this, uh, this station here is it actually has a sanitizing setting. So you can hook up your trailer to say maybe a jug of bleach or any other kind of cleaner that you like to use to flush out the lines. And there's a pump that you can turn on and completely cycle out the entire system there, getting it nice and clean. Same thing with your winterizing too. It's really cool and you can operate it all right on these valves here. There even is a power fill setting here for loading up your water tank. You simply hook it up to the water system, turn the valves the right way, and you can actually hit that pump switch on and it's gonna directly pull that water real quick inside of your tank. Speaking of the water tank, you have 58 gallons of onboard fresh water capacity with this fifth wheel. That's awesome. And then of course, right beside me here, you're gonna have your 30 pound tank and there's another one on the opposite side of the trailer. So you're set with the maximum amount of uh, propane capacity that you're gonna need. So that pretty much wraps up the exterior. Let's head on into the inside now. We'll cut through here. <clears throat> You have another storage compartment in the front as well. Here, I'll pop this open so we can quickly have a look at that for you. And inside this compartment, you're gonna see you have enough space for dual batteries. You have a battery disconnect switch in there too, which comes in handy when you're done using your fifth wheel. And there's even a little prep on the outside here for a uh, uh, little portable solar panel if you'd like. <clears throat> of course, if you do want to, you can even install a solar panel on the roof of this Rockwood, and we'd be happy to help you with that at the dealership. Let's go inside now. So first thing you'll notice coming inside this fifth wheel here is of course the amount of space you have. It's incredible. Um, what you're gonna see of course in the kitchen here is a ton of prep space. You're gonna have solid surface countertops in all of these Rockwoods as well. So one of the nice things instead of course of having the uh, yeah, instead of having your, your countertops as, like, say, a T-mold or a press membrane, which can come apart, these will be very similar to the, uh, uh, the countertops you may have in your home. Now, on the topic of that fit and finish that you get inside of your Rockwoods, this is all solid wood cabinet doors that they use in here. Same thing with your drawers. And Rockwood gives you full uh, residential style construction here. So you have hidden hinge style inside there for you so you can see they're not missing out on any of those fine line fit and finish details that you should have in a fifth wheel of this trail uh, this category now as we look over into the kitchen here you're going to see you have this really nice three burner cooktop here with the tempered glass cover <clears throat> and it's nice they recess it down into the countertop so you're maximizing that counter space that you have inside this fifth wheel and another little touch that they do is they even give you a knife block in behind the stove here too. So again, I love the little details that Rockwood does. As we look below the cooktop, you're gonna have these really nice LED light up dials here and then a full 22 inch gas oven with the glass door here. So this is the largest size you can get in an RV style um, oven here. Now to my right side, you're gonna have this really nice undermounted stainless steel 
split sink here. So of course you got that drying side, the washing side there too. And then they even give you this nice high rise stainless faucet with the pull out attachment here so you can easily rinse around your sink and that kind of stuff. And of course the sink covers. So they give you a nice little drying rack on this side here too and a nice little thing to fill in the opposite. So you're maximizing that amount of counter space. Again, to add to that counter space, you're gonna have the flip up extension here for you as well, which nicely comes up into place. And again, still solid surface. Now right across from me here, you're gonna have your fridge. Now Rockwood in this particular floor plan does offer you a larger fridge if you want to, but the one that we have it set up with here is of course your eight cubic foot gas and electric. So the beautiful thing about having a gas electric fridge is if you're that type of person that likes to go out dry camping, you still have two methods of power. You can run this when your trailer's plugged in and you can run it off of propane. So it's a great feature to have. And of course the eight cubic foot is a lot taller than your standard six. So you're getting that added, uh, added shelf in here as well. Now, just beside that, because this is the uh, smaller fridge option, you're not losing out on that pantry space. So again, you're gonna notice in here, lots of extra storage. Now, let's have a look at the bunk room here. I'll let you guys go in there first <clears throat> and you'll see it's very, very well set up. You're gonna have a nice L-shaped bunk that wraps around the entire top and then down on the bottom here, you're gonna have, I would almost say that's more than a double width size for the bunk bed as well. And what Rockwood does is they give you a four inch thick teddy bear mattress. So it's the thickest bunk mattress that you can put inside an RV. And of course they're extra soft and extra comfy for the kids there with that teddy bear finish. Now on the top, you will have air conditioning ducts that run into the bunk room here. As long as on the floor, you're also gonna have your heat duct in here. And on the topic of your air conditioning and heat, of course this trailer is fully ducted throughout um, in the rooftop for your air conditioning and Rockwood even laser cuts your ducts through that block foam insulation So it's an insulated duct that runs through your AC and then of course in the floors You're gonna have your heating now Rockwood does an in-floor heat duct here So the nice thing with that is you don't have the smaller tube ducting Which causes a lot of restriction on your furnace and it gives you a vent in every single room So you're gonna have proper climate control throughout the entire fifth wheel now beside me here Lots of storage in this bunk room. So what you're gonna have is actually a washer and dryer prep in here. And if you decide to not use that washer and dryer prep, you can see the shelving on the bottom here. You, we actually have it just disassembled right now, but you can actually set this up and just have a really nice closet. They got a hanging bar in the top there for you too. So it's very hard to find this amount of storage inside a bunk room of a fifth wheel. It's a great feature to have. Across from us here too, again, more added storage all the way underneath that bunk there for you. And then just behind me, this ladder of course is removable, but you're gonna have really nice deep drawers all the way up here. So plenty of storage. I, there should be no issue with, uh, with not having enough room for everyone's clothes back here or things like that. Now let's make our way towards the front. I wanna talk a little bit more about the living space here and, uh, and then we'll head up to the bedroom. So as we look into the slide out where your fridge and pantry is, you're gonna have your U-shaped dinette here. Great feature to have. This is the King U2 that Rockwood offers. So this seats a lot of people. It easily breaks down into a bed as well because all you can do is being that this is a freestanding table, you can take this table outside and the setup is really easy for a bed. You simply remove that little yellow pin there. I always put my foot down on it here to help keep things planted, but you can actually just pull it towards you and now this table is gonna set down into place. If you have those cushions removed, it'll just go right down onto those brackets. Then you just simply take the cushions off and around, fill in the bed area and you have an additional sleeping space. The couch beside me here as well is also gonna pull out into a bed. It's a nice trifold sofa, so you're not seeing that high to bed style either. So this makes into a very comfortable sleeping space. So if you really think about it, you can sleep two people up front, two people here, two people here. So that's six in total, and we still haven't even included the bunk room yet. There is an immense amount of sleeping space inside this fifth wheel. Now, to finish it all off, of course, like we were mentioning here with your countertop space, just underneath that, you actually have a premium sound bar here. And then, of course, the IRV technology uh, stereo unit. So that's gonna give you your uh, AM, FM. It's Bluetooth capable, like I mentioned before. This is a CD player, a DVD player as well. Um, of course, you're gonna have a charging inlet there for USB and even an HDMI hookup. So if the kids really wanna bring the Xbox out or something like that, you can easily set it up. Um, and then, of course, just below that, you're gonna have your 5100 BTU electric fireplace 
This is a great feature to have because of course you can use this to heat up the trailer. It actually heats up about 400 square feet in less than 15 minutes. So you can use this on a nice chilly day or something like that just to take the chill off inside your fifth wheel. Let's head upstairs now. <clears throat> so as we're coming up the stairs, just on my right side here, I wanna show you that control panel because what you'll see right above that is that new control your RV with the one control feature. So you just take a picture of that QR scan code and away you go. You can start operating your fifth wheel right off your cell phone. Down here, of course, you're gonna have your slide out controls if you wanna do it manually, all your interior lights, awning, step light. Um, and then of course, even your tank heater switches on here for the 12 volt pads. And just below that, you're gonna have your switch for the Wi-Fi Ranger. This is a really cool feature inside all of Rockwoods. Um, you're, essentially what it is, it's a booster for your Wi-Fi signal at the campsite. So say you get into your campsite, you have that signal, you can program this to grab that signal and boost it directly inside your fifth wheel so you can have that nice fast internet right inside your trailer. Follow me up and we'll come into the bedroom now here. So what you're gonna have, of course, is a nice walk around queen size bed here. Lots of storage up above there with cabin doors. It's not just a, a shelf that you're gonna see your stuff flying out of when you're going down the road. And they even give you nightstands on either side of the bed. So it's very CPAP friendly because you're gonna have plugins. You're also gonna have USB chargers on the one side there. And it doesn't feel as claustrophobic like you might have when there's wardrobes all the way up the side. On the topic of storage as well in this bedroom, just underneath here, we can give this bed a lift and you'll see it's on the gas struts too, so it's nice and easy to lift up. And again, I gotta point out, look at that aluminum framing that you have in there. It's something you will not find in any other brand in this industry. It is so, so cool to see the amount of detail that Rockwood goes into their construction. And one of the things that I wanna show you guys too, now that we're up in the uh, bedroom and I can actually reach the ceiling, if you go into any other fifth wheel or any other trailer in its category, what you're gonna be able to do is essentially tap that roof and if you were to go into any other fifth wheel but a Rockwood and do something like this, you'll put your fist right through the ceiling. That's one of the big benefits of you having that four inch thick vacuum bonded roof. Such a cool feature. Now, follow me across here. I'll show you the wardrobe slide. So one of the really nice things that you gain out of something like this here is of course, the wardrobe slide out in the bedroom. So you have lots of hanging space all the way across here. And then of course, they even add some extra drawers in the bottom as well. So again, more storage. Now this wardrobe does stretch across into the bathroom here. And what I'll do is I'll let you guys come in through the main entrance of the bathroom. I'll come through the ensuite and you can see inside here. So now that you're in the bathroom of this Rockwood here, what you're gonna see is that wardrobe slide actually stretches across inside of here, giving you a massive linen closet. So really nice touch because of course, you're gonna have all that space in the world for your towels and whatnot. Even underneath our sink here, you're gonna have more storage again. And it's nice, they even put a little shelf in here for you too. So if you wanna put some uh, toiletries and stuff in here, again, I can't stress enough those little details that Rockwood does for you. And then just underneath there, you'll probably have a nice access panel to either your water pump or other features like that. Now, just above your sink, nice medicine cabinet here as well. So again, more storage. And then while we're talking about the, uh, the setup here in the bathroom, you're gonna see again, a seamless countertop. So this isn't something that's gonna come apart on you, even if it gets wet. And then they even put in a stainless steel sink here. So it's something that's gonna last the entire life of the trailer. Other little details that we notice in the bathroom, you have this really nice glass sliding door in the corner shower. And I'm six feet tall. I can easily get in here. I don't have to duck underneath this bar. I have plenty of head space. This shower is actually up tall enough where I can get underneath it nice and comfortably. And there's some really cool touches in here. For example, they even give you this little shower bag here just as another little add-on. Underneath the taps, you actually have what's called a shower miser system by Aquaview. This is such a cool system. What you can do here is you can actually turn this valve and what it's gonna do is actually cycle the water back through this blue pipe instead of out to your shower. And while it's cycling through that blue pipe, it's actually going back to the water tank, the hot water tank, I should say, and heating up a lot faster and cycling it through. Now, once that water does come up to a comfortable shower temperature, this blue pipe will actually turn white. It's a temperature color changing pipe. So you're gonna know that that shower is ready to use. You can get in here, turn the valve on and start showering without wasting all of that water. Such a cool little feature that you get out of your shower in here. Now to top it all off in the bathroom, you have a porcelain toilet with a foot flush in here. 
and then just up above that more storage and one of my favorite features the fantastic fan you guys got to be careful with these though you turn them on they're incredibly powerful i'm just kidding it what it does is they're actually very strong they're 900 uh, cubic feet of air of uh, per minute of what the air can pull out of this fifth wheel so you do have one in the bathroom here and you do have one in the main area of the bedroom so it's a great way to help cool things down without having to run your air conditioner let's go into the main area of the fifth wheel now So guys, that pretty much wraps up our Rockwood Ultralight fifth wheel here today. This is one of our most popular bunkhouse trailers that we have are in our fifth wheel category at Rangeland. Like you can see, we are super passionate about the products here. We truly do believe this is probably one of the best fit and finish fifth wheels you can get into for this price category. So make sure you come down and have a look at one here. Um, give us a call, ask us about our RV show pricing on right now. And of course, I'm Ty the RV guy. Thanks for watching and happy camping. guys, Denise here, parts manager for Rangeland RV. Uh, go going through our virtual show, um, I've invited a couple of my reps down today. We're lucky enough to have Sean from Blue Ox um, down here to explain a little bit about the Sway Pro hitch and his fifth wheel hitch. So Sean, can you tell us a little bit about Blue Ox? Yes, Denise, Blue Ox started in 1925 as an agricultural company and then moved into RV products in 1991. We manufacture a very high quality of product. We did not want to get into the low end stuff. We wanted to make something that was going to give people two things, peace of mind and performance. And the Sway Pro is our weight distribution system, our premium quality weight distribution system that does just that. And the way it works, Denise, is we actually use a principle called caster that not only resists sway, but actually prevents it from happening. It keeps the trailer directly behind the tow vehicle at all times. And where that caster is seen is right here in our patented head design. The other thing, Denise, that customers want is ease of use. And one of the beauties of this product is that it is very easy to use. As you can see, we take our spring bar, it very simply locks into place. And then you have your chain, which you will loop onto your bracket. We give you a high quality tool to be able to lock on and then rotate your latch in order to lock it up. Now this does a couple of things that are very key from other systems in the marketplace. Number one is we use a rotating latch. When you have other products out there, they are spring loaded to come towards you which I have heard personally of the stories of people that have been injured is that spring bar under tension has sprung that handle back at a person. Ours is turned to the side. It allows you to be safe in the event that the bar gets away from you. The other thing that's nice is this system is quiet. There's no friction in there that is actually creating screeks and metal on metal scraping sounds as you go down the road. And finally, the nice thing is, is the absolute performance of the product. And I can attest from personal experience with my own 32-foot travel trailer in high winds where the whole truck and trailer are getting buffeted by the wind, that that trailer did not move out of position. It was like having an angel behind you holding things in place. It was one of the most enjoyable experiences in a very uh, ugly situation towing that I've had. I would stand behind this product over anything else in the market because of those experiences. So we've gone through some of the safety um, features, including the tilt latch. Um, what else do you think sets your hitch apart from the other product on the market? Absolutely. Some of the other key features in this product, Denise, is number one, when we sell the product, most companies will give you one size of shank opportunity. We give you three. So that if you have a truck versus an RV versus a, or pardon me, versus a uh, SUV uh, or even just a small um, minivan, 
each of those vehicles requires a different shank length. Well, instead of having to buy a system and then buy an auxiliary shank to meet your requirement, Blue Ox actually manufactures the systems complete with the correct shank length that you require. The other thing that's key in our system is that these bars are interchangeable. So when you buy a Blue Ox Sway Pro system, if you decide in a couple of years to move up or down to a different trailer size that requires a different poundage of bar, you can actually just buy the bars themselves and use your existing system. The product comes with a limited lifetime warranty and one of the key differences as well that separates us is we do not use automotive grade paint. We actually use a premium powder coat on our product to keep it looking good for as long as you own that unit. All right, Sean. Um, the other thing we brought with us today is uh, new to Rangeland RV. We are going to be stocking the Blue Ox fifth wheel hitch. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely, Denise. This is our Super Ride fifth wheel. It is actually the only fifth wheel on the market that has a built-in suspension system right into the head. So if you take a look down here on these shoulders, you'll notice that the head design is actually seated in a shock tower that allows that unit to absorb shock as you go down the road. And just like spring bars on our premium Sway Pro, what that absorption feature does is it helps protect the investment you've made in that trailer. Because every time you hit potholes, rumble strips, or are in any kind of off-road situation, all that shock and jar is going to go somewhere. And if you, do have, if you have stiff bars on your system, or you do not have any kind of suspension in your fifth wheel, all that shock is going right into your camper trailer. And so we produce a product that is actually trying to protect the investment you've made in that trailer. This unit also has a slider feature to it and it's very easy to use. So you can just lift the locking pins and the whole unit will slide into the maneuvering position. The head itself will rotate as it slides obviously because it's connected to the trailer and you can lock it up and now you pick up 11 inches of additional travel which gives you the clearance to back into a campsite that's a little tighter than usual. The other thing that is very unique Denise, but on this system, we also have a locking head on the jaw system. So when you take out your safety pin, if the customer forgets to put that back in, you can see that this jaw actually overlaps and then locks again in two points right back in to the jaw itself, into the head. So if they forget this and all they do is back in, give it a tug test and go, they are not going to lose that trailer in the back of their truck. So this system actually has three different safety features to keep that trailer from where it belongs. The other unique thing about this product, it has a UHMW head on it. What that means is that you already have a slip plate built right into your fifth wheel. You do not require an auxiliary slip plate. And the final thing that's really nice with this is that this product, this one in particular, actually mounts into the back of your truck on a gooseneck ball. So it is universal in its fitment. You can move from a Chevy to a Dodge to a Ford to a Nissan without having to buy a new fifth wheel. We're not restricted by the puck systems or changes that the manufacturers make in those systems. We fit universally on all trucks. Awesome job, Sean. Well, I appreciate you coming by today and helping out Rangeland with their virtual show for 2021. And I'm sure we'll uh, see more of you in the year. Thank you again, Denise.